This vest is a symbol of that positivity. It's a symbol that together we can have fun. As long as we stay positive, we can overcome anything together. I firmly believe at this point in my life, all right, that no matter what comes my way, that we can work together to overcome it, all right? That being said, it's time for something new. Which vest is best? Which Vest is e beggar best. Okay, vest is best. Vest, yeah, yeah, young cat. Got that 150 on my chest. Bitches all around me, and they let me touch their breasts. Got that saggy man moves flowing. But that member's count keeps growing, so I got to put it on a vest. 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 All right, all right. Vest. The guy is gonna be late today because there's a traffic jam in his house, so he's gonna be late. Okay. 150, and I put it on my chest. Okay. The vest goal has been pretty hard to hit recently, and that's tough when, you know. Things are tight. I get, I get it. Things have been tight for a lot of people, you know. Another thing I don't want people to freak out about is the members. The members right now are super low. Yes, I'm feeling fucking blessed. Begging for hats and glasses and a vest. Coping and coping that the pigs will impress. Everybody's begging me, stop spending on a WWE. Which vest, okay, is best? Which vest is e beggar best? 150 vest, 150 best. Which vest for the best is best? Which 150 and I put it on my chest, okay? Vest is best. Vest is best. Okay. Vest is best. 150. Vest. All right. Uh, what we're gonna do now, before we start, because something that I don't want to forget. Um, uh, remember the Kiwi Farms guy that wanted to do an interview with DSP? It's not a Kiwi Farms guy, but um, the the game journalist, right? Well, surprise, surprise. It was actually a troll the whole time. The reputable game journalist. And uh, yeah, his name is B Bill Purnell on Twitter. And he posted the emails with DSP. So now I'm going to read through the, the photos of those emails. While we're waiting for the guy to start. Because there's nothing more interesting to do, right? Right. Uh, let me just make sure the this audio is okay. So yes, the Kiwi Farm individual that wanted to talk about Kiwi Farms was fake. Uh, first, it starts with, and these are just DSP's uh, emails, email replies, right? Now, the first one is, hello, could you send me a few links so I can take a look at your stuff? Thanks for reaching out. Sent from my iPhone, the professional uh, dark side fill guy. Then we got the next one. Oh, page not found. How come? I literally looked at them earlier. What? Okay, but this one works though. What? And this one works too. Are you kidding me? I think I can open it uh, as an image in a new tab. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, wait, to be honest? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. It's kind of hard to, to read like this. 
Can I open it? Oh, there we go. Well, I'll be honest. Being that I'm not really associated with the bigger gaming community at large, I'm shocked anyone would want to talk to me on that podcast. I'm not saying I'm not interested. Just that I expected a talking head personality style YouTuber and not the official podcast of a gaming journalism site to hit me with an offer. <laughs> oh, he didn't expect this, dude. I'm shocked anyone would want to talk to me on that podcast. I expected a talking head style YouTuber. This is like, uh, it's like this dude is incapable of like writing like a normal person or at least a business style person. He has to write exactly as he talks. Because as I read this, I imagine DSP talking about it on a pre-stream exactly the same way. Okay, moving on to the next one. Uh, again, error some for some reason. But now it worked. Okay, honestly, this is sounding more like something that wouldn't be an interview about me. Re, but about kiwi farms in general being that i was one of the most focused on slash hated people on there i have a lot of knowledge and history on that side and the levels of harassment it levied against me tons of stuff i've never even publicly talked about for safety purposes but let's go on a podcast talk about it am i right sounds good dsp for publicity style purposes. Uh, if you want an informed party on that and you're doing a podcast about it coming up, I'd likely be your guy. He's gonna be the guy, the trolled guy. That being said, we get a shout out, big ups that being said, I would be interested in the above, even though it's not even about the subject matter I was thinking of. The subject matter he's thinking of is literally himself. That's all he's thinking of. It's, it's just something about himself. Uh, uh, a masturbatory style podcast. That's what he's looking for. Somebody to jerk him off. So he doesn't have to do it himself this time. Let me know if that sounds like like something your podcast would be interested in. Oh, uh, what a great thing. And now we got an NDA is fine. So he, he sent him an NDA, right? Because uh, that's what he was talking about yesterday. Oh, these fucking idiots. They sent me a fucking NDA. I, you think I'm going to fucking sign that shit? You're a fucking idiot. And then they ghosted me. So, uh, yeah, we get an NDA is fine. As long as we've worked out the details and it's something I'm interested in. Okay? I obviously have to make sure that I can make it on the show with my schedule. Of course, we have to fit fit the show in my schedule, even though I want to be interviewed. You have to fit in my schedule, bitch. And, and that I have the tech capabilities to join in, as I have no knowledge of how the show actually works. <laughs> it depends if I know how to, how to fucking, like, check into your show. We don't know how Discord works, or Skype, or Zoom, or Google Meets, or Microsoft Teams. None of that. None of those. He doesn't know any of those. I don't want to sign and commit to something before I know that I can actually do it. Like paying back credit cards? Sounds good, DarksidePhil at Hotmail.com, sent from my iPhone. Sounds good. So yeah, yet another day, yet another troll. Yet another troll. Ah, oh, I get a fucking podcast. And yeah, big ups uh, to uh, Bill Purnell for being a reputable game journalist. And uh, yeah, pull it, pulling off this uh, this great podcast. I'm looking forward to the podcast. Very much looking forward to it. Speaking of podcasts, let's see this bum. Is he Has he made it to work yet? Through his uh, morning commute that takes hours and hours of him waking up and rolling out of bed and then drunkenly stumbling into his stream in his pajama pants. Let's check out the DSP gaming. The gaming is silent. What? What is this? No views 12 hours ago. What? Is this a broken stream? Is this even a stream? Oh, yeah, it is a stream. He is live. Uh, let's see. I'm going to check out his Twitter on my phone. Because if I pull it out again, it's going to be... It's going to be a disaster. So welcome, everybody. We started, I guess. 
I don't have time to watch gameplay clips and look for quotes of him calling people idiots. Even though there was this great segment about him not voting and how salty he got about somebody calling him out. It's like, Phil, do you think it's fair that you rant about the government but you don't vote? Oh, this is a fucking free country. If you don't think so, then you can fucking leave. Go to North Korea. This was basically the segment. I'm, I, I wish I was joking. But this was basically the segment. So yeah, he should be alive soon-ish. Soon, soon style. Soon style. Meanwhile, we can check out the... I'm not gonna check it out. I was gonna look at the dad being said a short, but it just came out, so I'm not gonna steal views from it like a filthy thief. So go check it out uh, yourself, you assholes. Actually, I can do, I can shill it, but I'm not gonna show it. I can send it in chat without actually showing it. Because I'm greedy for the views. I'm enveloped in greed. Like, fucking, those vintage DSP quotes, man. Uh, so let's see, how was it called? Oh, yeah. That Big Said Podcast. Is it gonna come up, the podcast? Of course. Busting for JPEGs, that's it. Copy link address, spam link address in chat. Go check it out. It's only a minute long. While we wait for this guy, we meander and we mess around. Uh, he yesterday, obviously he hit the tips goal. He was wearing the hat. He almost, like it was almost falling off because, well, it, it's too hot. It's too hot. He couldn't wear it, almost. Let's change the, the backing track. And I might put some shit on the background for this stream so there's something like actually going on and not just a gouty guy and a troll guy. That would be fucking annoying, wouldn't it? Bleh. Let's see DSP's chat. Is it rocking? Oh, there's so many, so many members, dude. Oh no, this is actually three dudes. They're just spamming. <laughs> it's just like three members. They're just spamming. Good morning, all. Let's get started. Let's see, started what? We gonna get started waiting? We gonna get started camping? Did he make it to work, you guys? I wonder why he was late. He should have been live already. This bum. Mr. Mr. Bumnell. <laughs> Bro, he's still playing fucking hobos and dogs from like 15 years ago. Like, he playing legit songs from like, Drake wasn't even born yet. Fucking Lil Wayne was like 10 years old. God damn. Make some new songs. Get somebody to make you some songs. Ah, hobos and dogs. Wait, is this King Jad's stream? How did I make it here? How did I open this? Let's go back to DSP stream. Must have clicked something random. Big ups, King Jad. Because I, I saw something. I was like, huh? This isn't Phil. Let's see what song he's playing now. You have your bets? What is it gonna be? Thugs on the floor? Oh no, it's still hobos and dogs. Hobos, hobos, dogs, dogs, hobos, dogs, hobos, dogs. I think I uh, explicitly said on my streams that I don't let him use my songs. Since he's the permission guy, I don't give him permission. I give anybody else permission but DSP. You can clip this in case he some someday decides to use it. You don't have permission to use my songs, Darkside Phil. You need to ask me. You need to swing in my DMs and beg. You need to record a short of you begging. You need to beg it to use my song. Please, please, can I use the Raccoon Eye song for the opening? No. You can't. Just like he wanted Medicare to reach out to him, even though he knew a thousand percent he wasn't going to do the interview. But yeah, he, he hasn't reached out to me. But also, he's a fucking idiot. And he shit on me ten years ago. Oh, I love this. It's like, dude, you, you already know you're going to say no. You just want the power trip. You just want the power trip. Come on. Hey, Review Tech USA sent him a super chat. Let's see what, th what this is about. A beautiful man. Review Tech USA back, back to swinging on those nuts because he wants the attention. I guess, but is this the real guy? You guys, is this the real Review Tech USA? I don't think it's the real guy, guys. 
Might be fake. Might be fake. So yeah, Rich is back to, uh, I don't know, being DSP's boyfriend, I guess. <laughs> After saying, no, I'm not gonna support you anymore. But I don't think this is the real guy, because he wouldn't, he wouldn't super chat from his streams channel. He would super chat from his verified channel, so people would know it's him. But it might be him, you guys, I don't know. But also, YouTube got this weird thing when you can call your channel literally anything. And if it's not verified, you're never gonna know. Oh yeah, his main channel is is uh, is banned on the stream. Maybe that's why. <laughs> oh, dude. Well, fuck you, Rich. You're still being a pay pig. Why are you being a pay pig like that? I thought you were better. I thought you were better. So you're still a cuck. Born cuck, die a cuck. Born a lol cow, die a lol cow. That's how it is. I gotta say though, this uh. Yeah, this fan art of the Vice City thing is is low-key not bad. It's not bad. I give it a little bit of credit, whoever did it. This fan art is bad, though. This looks like somebody who's like 10 years old made it. Let's judge the fan art. We're doing a fan art review segment because this is a boring stream. Because the guy we're about to make fun of is still not at his job. Oh, there we go. Another great fan art of Rich from Review Tech USA. This is not even DSP. I don't know why he's bald. This is literally Rich. This is not DSP Gaming. So yeah, let's see the next one. Let's get the next one rolling. What song is playing? Oh, this is this is not even like what the fuck is this? It's just Xbox. Dark Side Phil proudly presents Xbox Series X, powered by Game Pass. Like, dude, you're not affiliated with Xbox. Stop fucking chilling it. <laughs> this is trash. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, a late night chill with dark side fill. This is just some PNG downloaded from Google because it's not even like high definition. It's just ripped off from somewhere. And I know because I rip off stuff all the time. What is what is the song playing? Don't trust who? Don't trust me. Oh, this uh, going back in time. Yeah, wow, iconic song. This is wow. Big ups, artist of death. This is a big whale segment, dude. Massive big ups. Big ups cats of Mir. Do you think Fillory Bernal's Anika will get more members <laughs> gifted by Team I Seed Coffee Gamer? It's inevitable. It's inevitable. The the Ico guy swung by last night. He wailed out a hundred. Uh, actually, was like ninety, I think. So yeah, but big ups very much for your red style contribution. This is a massive successful stream already. I'm having so much fun. It's so positive. I'm gonna post on Twitter how positive this is. So big ups. I appreciate it. Let's go back to uh, judging the fan art. Now, this is a very nice fan art because it's it's rules. It's a rule set, a rule book, if you will. Do not post links. Do not abuse caps lock. Do not text slash emote spam. Be respectful. No advertising. Oh, and no discussion of haters and or their content. So this is already super positive. In the graphic design, we're not even going to talk about it. We have a, what is this, a sigil? We have a coat of arms of DSP, which I, I, I guess, I guess, I guess, amazing style coat of arms. And this one, I don't know. This one is mid. I guess it's like a, like a five out of 10 or something. It's pretty mid when it comes to uh, DSP fan art. This this shit is trash though. This is like actual trash. I don't even know what's happening in this one. I mean, I know it's pretty basic, but it's it's trash. It's ugly as hell. Yeah, this is a like a two out of ten. Let's see the next one. Oh, this is great. This is great. <laughs> You're choosing your fighter. And the one you choose, the, the player one, is Dark Side Phil. Country, the United States. Job, full-time streamer. Hobby, gaming and entertain. Gaming and entertain as a hobby. Big ups. It's a phenomenal hobby. I love entertain as a hobby. <laughs> that face when you entertain as a hobby. It's like a court jester. They'll love entertaining. And this one is like 
there's nothing about DSP in this one. It's just stolen footage. It's just the uh, an arc artwork that this guy probably didn't do because it doesn't look like DSP. And if this dude did it, it would look like DSP. And this definitely doesn't look like DSP. An arcade cabinet and a bunch of like just stolen JPEGs. This is like a three out of ten. This is oh wait 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 what what does the text say? This is the most sensational video game streamer in 2021. <laughs> well, too bad it's 2022 now. He's trash. Maybe last year he was amazing, but now he's he's not very sensational. And this is just some more stolen JPEGs. Uh, Dark side fill retro gaming playthroughs with a TV and some old games. Big ups. <laughs> uh, hobby. Gaming and entertain. This is like what? I don't know. This is like a two out of ten. I don't know. I forgot to even like give him ratings. Oh, I love this is a very DSP thing when he puts the HTTP and the www in in the links on an actual photo, not just twitter.com slash they call me DSP. Or you know you have a Twitter icon at they call me DSP. You gotta put the HTTP colon slash slash www so in, in case you know it's not https it's insecure dude just like him Bleh. <laughs> and this is just i don't even know what this is this is just dsp as uh, m bison dsp wins perfect and it's just his face on a flag very nice. This is a like a 3 out of 10. I don't know. Objectively. These are objective reviews, by the way. In case you think they're like subjective. And it's just my opinion. These are objective reviews. Uh, this is just trash. This is just stolen pics. This is just stolen pics. Dark side feel exclusively on YouTube. And this is just... Oh, another HTTP. Fantastic. Updated daily raw gameplay, huge archive, no BS. It's very nice. I thought this was one sentence. I, I read it like it's a one sentence. <laughs> so we got a DSP and a bunch of videos. And then the HTTP link, which is great. And the dude is still not live, by the way. Uh, what song is playing? I don't even know this song. This must be a relatively new song. But look at the look at the date in the bottom, 2008 to 2000 and, and XX, because we don't know when he's gonna die. Oh no, when his career is gonna die. Okay, and uh, yeah, this one is just generic as fuck. I'm not even gonna like like read through it. Dark side fill YouTube stream. That's it. It's a Mario thing. It's like a four out of ten, I guess. It is kind of boring. Ah, uh, see next one. Oh no, it wasn't even playing. All right, is it gonna play now? It does play now. Very nice. This is uh, I mean, this is it. It's just all of this shit is just stolen, stolen images from Google with dark side fill put on them, which is like barely transformative. The, oh, oh, and it said in the bottom, it said some text. It said, like, what, DSP is your source for throwback Street Fighter gameplay. And DSP Gaming, the caps on that is wrong. Because, like, DSP is all capital and gaming is small. <laughs> Dude, uh, and he accepts all of this shit. All of this looks like trash and he just takes it, man. Oh, and you can see the score on the left side. This is actually quite uh, transformative. Fun times, chill gameplay, interactions, and fill victory. And you get some cowboy emojis for absolutely no reason. I'm very confused about that. I guess it's a thing. I guess it's a thing. Let's change the song uh, for a little bit so it doesn't get too repetitive. Alright. Is the Ragnarokable gonna decide to start his job? No. No. Oh, but we get to the, the hot did you know uh, slide. At some point, we're going to get to that. That that one is really good. That one is hot as hell. I love that one. And this, this shit. <laughs> this shit. Like, DSP. Don't put this. 
shit like this on your stream. Like, it's okay giving it a shout out, but having your stream open up with, with something that looks like this is it's just not very flattering. And he's guarded by, of, of course, the frog army. The frags. And he used to have much worse stuff than this. But this, this is like, I don't know, it's special. <laughs> oh, it's special. He looks so good. Oh, this is amazing. This is the progressive slide. I love this one. A word from the king, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all for being a part of this community. Know that this is a safe space for all. And you are all welcome and loved for the perfect and unique people each one of you are, you fucking idiots. My streams have and always be a place for fun, adventure, and friendship, you fucking moron. You are what makes this community great. Now please tip me. You can guess some of that wasn't from the paragraph. I kind of embellished it for entertainment purposes because otherwise it is just obviously too much bullshit. So yes, this is the proud ally, by the way. <laughs> As you can see, there's a there's a heart with the rainbow flag on it and it says proud ally. Damn, DSP. Oh yeah, he's live. Hold on, hold on. We're going live. We're going raw. We're, we're about a minute behind, but we're going to get back up. Uh, big ups, uh, Brian Kinsley for the sub, dude. Snap. Welcome to the so subscription box. And uh, incidentally, this morning, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to be playing God of War Ragnarok. And this is going to be a major game for me. I'm going to be playing it all day today on launch day. I'm going to be playing it Friday. I'm going to be playing it every other day, essentially, as a major stream. And I started to think in my head <clears throat> about that whole year. At the launch of the PS5 and how it was my major console for everything for about a year. And I started remembering, oh yeah, my PS5 controllers, the DualSense controllers, actually don't have a very great battery life. Yeah, uh, um, by the way, if you try I'm, I'm going to run okay. some some beats on the background. If it's too it's loud, just... Slur is not a bad word, dude. It's not, dude. It's not even a slur. That's what he said. It's not even a slur. Um, you can tag me in chat if the song is too loud and I'm going to turn it down. But I'm going to leave it like this for now, okay? And let's go back to Phil. Big ups, uh, Klaus, for a super chat, dude. Typically, they start to run out around maybe four, five hours of gameplay tops. If that, if you could even get that long. And that's sad, I know. Because they were supposed to be these revolutionary controllers or whatever when the console came out. But they just don't have very great battery life, just being honest. Now, unlike the Xbox Series X controller where it has batteries you can easily replace, either with double A's or a rechargeable battery, the PS5 controller is just built in. You, you can't do anything about it. You can charge it. Dead is dead. I don't have a long USB cable long enough to even reach a console. So I have two PS5 controllers, okay? I have this one, which is one that's a little bit newer. And then I have my other one over there that's currently charging, and that's the one that came with my PS5. Now, to give you guys a little bit of background, about it um my that, ps5 what? i bought it at launch dude we, we're getting controller backgrounds why why just say welcome welcome it's the current date we're having fun on level one and start with the rants okay we're gonna um, give us a a background on why he has controllers i played a wide variety of games on it and one of the games that I played on it was Call of Duty. Now, I can't remember which one it was. I don't remember what the launch Call of Duty was for the thing. I can't really remember. Um, but all I remember is I had been playing it on PS4 for about a week to two weeks before the PS5 version had come out. And I was playing it, and I had no problems whatsoever with it. I was having a great time on PS4. I start playing this thing on PS5, and I'm getting nonstop melee attacks without my... my actually wanting them they're just coming out yeah without me even <laughs> he cried about this so much he like actually almost cried he was so pissed doing it and i'm like oh my god i'm not even doing this why is this happening this is really stupid um it got so bad over the course and he was having drift trying to play the game that i thought my controller was faulty all right so i ended up first of all i, I turned off like any kinds of bells and whistles or whatever it still was doing it so I actually said to my audience, I was like, man, I may have a faulty controller. It just sucks because right now with all the games that I bought, I can't afford a new one. A fan donated one. All right. So this controller here 
which is technically my second PS5 controller, actually I ended up getting, um, I want to say maybe a month after the release of the PS5, maybe two months, I can't exactly remember. Um, but come to find out when I got it, even that wasn't fixing the problem. I was still getting nonstop attacks. Oh, no. Attacks. <laughs> so somebody bought him a controller for no reason, just so he can have a second one. He, he bullshitted that his controller was broken. <laughs> Did he try playing a different game to see if that problem still occurs? Oh, no, you guys, I'm hitting melee attacks. Please buy me a controller. <laughs> Finally, what I did, I turned off all of the haptic feedback in the game. I just disabled every single piece of it. I was like, I just want this controller to be like a standard controller. I don't care about all the stupid PS5 features. Obviously, they didn't. Yeah, what's up, Westside? And then when I did that, I never got an accidental melee attack ever again. So what it was was 100%. You realize how stupid this makes you look, right? Because you begged for a controller, then somebody bought you a controller for no reason. And now you have two of them. And now you're complaining that the battery is too low while you have two controllers that you can switch on come on dude this was the first big ups k done for the sub activision had been implementing haptic feedback and they did it wrong and they did it so heavily so heavily handed that just the firing of your gun would make you accidentally set off a melee attack so isn't the the melee attack when you click the the right stick so r3 and basically it would make it it would make him do it yeah, it was really stupid. Yeah, so it was stupid. Was, I ended up with two PS5 controllers. He ended up with them. <laughs> now, he ended up. It just fell from the sky. Yeah, which one I actually actively used for the next year, or which one I didn't, because they're identical. So I don't know which one is actually the was the inbox PS5 launch controller, and which one was the separate controller sold separately that a fan donated. But for about a year, the PS5 was my go-to console. And I played every major new release on there, you know, Demon Souls, uh, Ratchet and Clank, D D Bug Snacks, you know, everything. Everything that I Big played snacks. in that year uh, was played on PS5, okay? In fact, even all the way up to, like, Resident Evil Village and all of that was played on it. Uh, it wasn't until last summer when a fan reached out and said, you know, we're at a point where you're going to be missing out a lot. Uh, what? If you don't have an Xbox Series X, and at that point I couldn't get one, <laughs> so they donated one. And ever since I have the Xbox Series X, now oh. it's like if I play a game that is a non-exclusive, this dude gets stuff fall fall from the sky. People throw at him, and it's never good enough. I usually play on. Dude, the I, that's how I ended up with an Xbox Series X. If I play a game that isn't exclusive <laughs> to the Sony, obviously I'm gonna have a PS5 version. But quite frankly. On the Xbox Series X, I like the feel of the controller better. All right. Um, and I do get true surround sound on the Series X because the Series X allows for dual audio output, meaning I can have surround sound coming out of my controller to my neck phones. Bro, you got neck phones. While you guys like, can hear the uh, stereo sound you're used to hearing on YouTube. How, like, how stupid is this to demand true surround sound on neck phones? So, because of that, Bruh. I basically have two major advantages. Yeah, he is meandering on purpose because he admitted he doesn't have much to talk about on the podcast. So, instead of playing God of War for longer amounts of time, which he complained. about to fill that 90 minutes time. Exactly. Exactly. Instead of playing the game that just came out that he said he wouldn't have enough time to play, he's just going to talk about controllers all day. On the Series X when I play, and games. he's gonna do a Q and A most probably because he's been doing Q and As the last few days because there's not much to talk about even though there is, and he did. <coughs> <coughs> On the PS5, the one advantage I get is the haptic feedback in the controller, and that lasts about 30 minutes. Where any game that I play has haptic feedback, I hear it for about 30 or I feel it about 30 minutes. I'm like, oh, this is neat, and then I absolutely completely forget it exists. This has happened with every single game I've played on PS5. There hasn't been a single one where the haptic feedback has really overall added to the experience of the entire game. The one exception to that is Astro's Playroom. You know, the game that came with the PS5 at launch two years ago. Uh, outside of that game, what I've seen is that the various game developers don't bother trying to implement haptic feedback as anything important to their games. I think they realize, especially a lot of these games that are cross-platform, you don't want to be missing out on a major experience if you don't have the haptics so they say okay we'll add them for those who have a ps5 but it's not going to be a big deal 
So if that's the case, who cares about having them? If the game developers themselves don't treat it as a big deal, why would the gamer, <clears throat> right? So for me, it's not really a big deal. And when I play on PS5, I don't get surround sound. Now, that may change as of today. Allow me to explain. Previously, here's how my setup worked. My console would plug into my HDMI splitter. One HDMI cable would go to my TV. One would go to my capture setup. I would have audio out via the console in some way. Now on the Xbox, I simply plug my, my headphones into the bottom of the Xbox controller and it works surround sound. With the PS5 controller, even though it has a headphone jack in the bottom, if I plug my headphones into that, guess what happens? No audio for you. Silence. Because the PS5 doesn't have dual audio out. Sony skimped on this console and took features out, and that's one of the ones they took out. So that means I can't plug any kind of a, an audio cable into my PS5 controller, or else it'll be a silent stream and a silent video for you guys. All right? So instead, what I have done in the two years that I've had a PS5, I do a almost like a, a weird jerry-rigged Frankenstein setup. I use the audio out from my television as a way to go into this old Astro A40's Dolby Digital Decoder receiver. <laughs> okay? And that, then, I plug my headphones at the bottom of that, and then I get audio through there. Now, this is necessary for the uh, Switch regardless, because the Switch has no audio out. You have to have audio out of your TV. I know that sounds stupid, but it just that's how you have to do it on the Switch. Um, so I've done this kind of bootleg way of doing it on PlayStation 5 for two years. Do I get audio? Yes, but it's zero surround sound. What it does is it basically <laughs> tries to- His fucking surround sound fetish. All this, all this setup just to be terrible at a video game. Uh, he wants everything, man. He wants everything. Big ups uh, my channel for being a member. Simulate surround sound with whatever, you know, is in this thing, and it's not very good. It's pretty bad. Admittedly, it's it's nowhere near as good as the audio that I get on my Xbox Series X. Okay. I'm gonna let this segment play out so we can skip on the on the schedule stuff. Okay. Um, because that is just more repetitive than this. Way more. What just happened? I plugged my headphones in and the power went out. Oh, the cord popped out. No wonder. And he fucked it up. So, but here's the thing. <clears throat> I now have a new television. I've only had this television for, what, two weeks? This is a really good TV. It's a Sony. And this Sony TV, unlike my old TCL, has a lot of features, bells and whistles built into it that the old TV didn't have. One that it actually has, it has its own built-in Dolby Digital Decoder. Okay. Dolby Digital is not the best, to be honest. It's okay for surround sound. Um, personally, <laughs> he should have bought the more expensive TV. Higher quality, but um, oh, higher quality digital surround digital sound. Digital, regardless. DSP, you're not getting the best of it on neck phones, so it doesn't matter. So shut up. A lot of uh, like like um, DVD players use it, so uh, it's standard. It's kind of the standard. All right, so. I haven't really messed with it yet. The only game I've played on PS5 since I had my new TV was the Re Resident Evil DLC. And <clears throat> quite frankly, I don't think the Resident Evil Village DLC really utilized audio that well anyway. Um, this playthrough, God of War Ragnarok, will be the test of my new TV to see if it actually does true surround sound out or not. If it does, then I'm going to get surround sound even on my PS5 moving forward, which I'd be stoked for, because if that's the case, then that means... There's no difference between the two consoles pretty much at all besides just the controller. That was it's the not going to change um, anything. Which is negative. It's not going to change the controllers anything. controllers are both good. All right. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. There's not going to be any change know. anyways because one is the fake surround sound. The other one is the true surround sound. And he's not going to see any kind of a difference on the neck phones. That is basically having a speaker around your neck. Except you look more stupid. Uh, I really love the surround sound I get out of my Series X. But we'll see what happens here with God of War Ragnarok. I would love to have true de true surround sound. By the way, this game, from all the reports, is insanely long. Like, ridiculously long. Um, 50 hours for the story. That's why we're going to meander so much before you, we start playing it. So we can, we can fit in more gameplay, right? 80 hours if you do all the side content. And people reporting the side content is just as meaningful as the crazy good side content that was present in a game like Witcher 3. Which obviously is outstanding if that's the case. So, I guess we'll see. And if that's the case, if it's that long of a playthrough, right, then obviously I want to be getting the absolute best quality out of my setup 
when I'm doing this lengthy playthrough. So you hope for the best. But I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find, live test, basically, here. A live test. Um, <laughs> I'll just see what, what kind of audio and everything I get out of it. Oh, okay. no. His weird sound right, fetish is yeah, so bad. This is the big release day. Uh, I am playing this all day long. God of War Ragnarok on both streams. Three hours of gameplay here on the first stream and about two hours on the late stream. All right. Obviously, I'm excited for the game. I know you guys are, too. This is my game of the year pick for 2018. The last one, that is. Um, man, did A walking it... sim is long. Well, grew Og. How was is, how is God of War a walking sim? Advanced this, this was the... <laughs> how is it a walking sim? Of a game series or... I mean, you, you do walk, but you also do a lot of other stuff, rebooted too. Rebooted or recreated for a modern audience. And Big ups, anyways. Is better than the, the original, you know? And that doesn't usually happen. A lot of the times... When you get a franchise that's modernized, a lot of people are, are very sad about the things that are lost or how there's changes. To me, <clears throat> the way they modernized God of War is outstanding. You took a franchise that primarily was based on the combat, which is fine. The combat was very, very good in the original God of War series. But you turned it into something that had an insanely... Oh, because you can't jump? One of the best written stories in gaming. Okay? And then you added insanely great graphics on the PS4. Insanely great and graphics. you added crazy amount of good, pretty good content you know what i mean like it was like the best of all worlds no matter what you were looking for in a video game <clears throat> you got it in god of war 2018 okay <clears throat> so i'm super excited to see what they've done with this sequel you know especially with all the reviewers excited the best games ever made <laughs> Um, Again, we we we'll get see. to the over pronouncing the T's. That's that's a very new DSP thing. You can't just say excited. Now, he has to be excited. I'm going to approach this playthrough exactly as I approach any game that I'm engrossed in and I want to take my time with. So think about Elden Ring. Okay, he already <clears> talked about this. I'm skipping so through this trash. Waiting out, rushing through the game. Absolutely not. <clears throat> he's not rushing. Okay, he's gonna meander a lot. May wish to stay away from my streams. Okay, he said this the last like four days. He said this same thing every single day. Telling with me when you could. Don't juggle five video games at once, right? Just think about what I'm doing right now, right? Well, because I'm a variety content creator and streamer, I don't do that. I definitely take my time with games. I balance them out for variety purposes. What if there's someone who just doesn't like God of War? Do I want them to stay away from my streams for two, three weeks because it's all I'm playing? Obviously not. What if? Okay. They show up anyways. Someone Even if you don't like it. on God of War. They have every intention okay. of watching the playthrough, but they're just going to watch it on demand at their own leisure later. Yeah, they so can do that. that. Okay. Again, that's why I'm a variety cool. content creator. I don't want people to avoid my streams for too long. <laughs> he needs to go out of his way to say that it's okay if you want to watch his videos. Great. Two months. You see? Great. And that's why I do it this way. Um, But here's the thing. And I here's want to be abundantly clear. Today is the only day I'm playing this all day. I'm off from streaming tomorrow. Ah, oh, that's fucked up. It immediately means that most of you will be way ahead of me in this game as of tomorrow. Okay? When I come back to play it on Friday, I'm playing it on one stream. That's three hours. That means as of Friday, I'll be seven, eight hours into the game. Most of you will be dozens of hours into this game by then. So you're going to be way ahead of me. All right? I hope you would come by and you would chill with me and you would actually enjoy the streams if you can. All right? I don't think... After today, I don't think spoilers are going to be a major issue for most uh, of Oh, bro, Instead this is like <laughs> literally every day he talks about this in the same way. Then I watch him play and I compare on the streams initially, but you come back later in the week. That's cool, too. All right. I welcome it all. However, you guys. I think a lot of people are going to play the game first and then go back to see how bad he is. Just how uh, they did with, the, with Elden Ring when it came out. When people played it by themselves first, and then they went back. Hey, I wonder how the this is how you don't play Elden Ring is going on. And it was terrible. Like, the first four or five Elden Ring streams were a nightmare. And then it was just kind of boring. But the first ones were really bad. Want to enjoy it. All right. Thanks. You know, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that people come by for the big releases and want to experience them with me. You know, a lot of people had this game for two weeks already and reviewed it and beat it. A lot of people streamed it yesterday. I'm not in that group. I'm, I'm normal just like you guys. He's normal. I'm better than you. I'm not some snowflake who gets every little... I'm, I'm not any better than you, but he just had a segment talking about how somebody gifted him a current generation console that just came out. 
he literally just said it and they bought him a controller because he thought his controller was broken and then it turned out that it was just the video game settings that were wrong and he turned off the haptic feedback and it was all okay but somebody spent money on a full price controller and sent it to him and bought him an xbox series x but i'm just like you guys i'm literally just like you i'm normal special privilege no special privilege absolutely no special privilege everybody gets xboxes bought to them in controllers just because they think they're broken but they're not actually broken these people i'm just i'm like same with you guys i'm a gamer on ground level i'm a you gamer know? on ground level play stuff and even though i've been playing video games for a living for 14 years but sounds good they're at face value right that's what it's always been about it's always been my philosophy it's always been I the philosophy forward, man it's always been dude so there you go. Now, we have three animations that were added to my streams this and week. And we're shilling. Okay, I'm going to skip through this. this morning. What we'll do is we'll go through the schedule. We're going to go uh, through the schedule. Zero new stories to talk about. So, Q&A. Uh, and &A. Likely what we'll do and meandering. Some shout-outs. Maybe minimal Q&A. Minimal Q&A. You know, we already started late anyway. So, so here's the schedule. Let's talk about the schedule. All right? Today, it is God of War Ragnarok all day long. Here on the first stream, about three hours of gameplay. And then on the late stream, 6.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, two more hours of gameplay. So I'm excited for five plus hours of gameplay of God of War Ragnarok here on my stream. Should be a great time, okay? Obviously, I'll upload all that to the channel, and I hope that you all give it a good look. By the way, if you guys have any ideas for what are the best moments of today's gameplay... Oh, no. Highlight as a YouTube He's going to talk about today, the shorts again. Just let me know as it's happening or whatever. <clears throat> keep it in mind. Because this is my goal is every day to try to find something fun that happened on one of my streams that I can highlight as a YouTube short. Since people seem to be of the impression that YouTube shorts bring people to channels, I haven't really seen it. But I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll try to keep this practice up if you guys like that. You right. know why he wants to keep this practice up? And I said it every day that he's been talking about it because he talks about it every day. And I've been restreaming him every day. Uh, because starting next year, the shorts are going to be monetized. And you can play ads on shorts. So he wants to to get in the groove of making shorts every single day that are not his schedule. So you can maybe hopefully watch them, but don't because they're trash. All right. So let me know today as we're playing, what's the best moments? What do you think's going on? That's great. That you'd like to see as a YouTube short. And, uh, you know, I'll take your opinions and I'll probably make one or two shorts at the end of today. Oops, that was my bad. No streaming tomorrow. I'm off. I'll have a day. It's actually a day where... Uh, I have some errands to run and things like that. It's not a super busy day or anything like that, but uh, just kind of a more relaxing day. And uh, we have a great day tomorrow. I'm sure many of you will be playing God of War Ragnarok all day long tomorrow, getting way ahead of me. Okay. When I come back on Friday, which would be the 11th of November, first stream will be more God of War Ragnarok. Second stream will be Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, which I'm now calling Friday Night Firefights. Friday this Night Firefights. Fire fights. Fights. Oh, <laughs> Modern Warfare oh shit. Cases. Sorry about this. Uh, I yep. come back on Friday. Okay, we're back. Last time around, Friday, <clears throat> which would be the 11th, we were unlocking a whole new weapon tree, Evan Kostov weapon, and it was really good. And I'm actually enjoying it, and we're getting to a really uh, a really good weapon set, so you know, I'm looking forward to that Friday night. Saturday, we're going to alternate back and do more Sonic Frontiers. Now, what I'd like to do today is give you a brief summary of what I thought about Sonic Frontiers yesterday, because some people have already been asking me, what do you think about it, okay? <clears throat> Sonic Frontiers. It's not anything like a Sonic game I've ever played before. I don't think they wanted it to be. I think they were purposely trying to stray from the path of what you would expect from Sonic. Because let's be honest, the last few outings that they tried to do Sonic, they kind of failed. And no one liked it. No one liked Sonic Boom and no one liked Sonic Forces. So what they've done is they created an open world game. That shit looks terrible, by the way. I watched like two minutes of it yesterday and it looked awful. Like it, it just genuinely bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh. That very well could be an open world environment for any video game. But what they did is they put in Sonic elements. So as you're traversing this open world, you find grind rails, you find springs, you find homing points to bounce off of that lead to platforming challenges that lead to collectibles and items as rewards. You find hidden items in the environment. You have to randomly take on uh, enemies in the environment. Some are normal enemies, some are mini bosses, some are big bosses. And as you kill them, you get rewarded. 
Now, all this is leading up to a few things in the game. For example, you can unlock story elements with certain items you find, or you can unlock more traditional style Sonic stages with gears that you find by defeating very tough enemies. These Sonic style stages basically feel like stages you've played in previous games like Sonic Forces. They're quick, they're fast paced, there's a lot of platforming, you fight some enemies, you're looking for red ring special collectibles, you gotta get five of them on each stage. Um, as well as try to beat them as fast as you can and have a certain amount of rings by the end of the stage as well. Every time that you complete one of these challenges, whether it's beating it in Yeah, if we, if we decide not to watch him play God of War, if I can find some stuff to watch that is fun, that is about him, uh, we could do that, sure. I'm getting Depending on how long this goes. The five uh, red rings, getting the enough uh, golden rings by the end of the stage, you get rewarded with a key. The keys are used to unlock Chaos Emerald. And the Chaos Emeralds are eventually unlocked. Dude, just like, don't explain the game. Tell us if you like it or not. Don't explain everything about the fucking game. Man, Jesus Christ. He's so, like, obnoxious with everything. To give you more powers, and then... And it's like, he does it on purpose. Because this podcast must be an hour and a half long. And he doesn't have things to talk about for an hour and a half. So he needs to literally invent things to talk about. And explain to you video game mechanics that completely make no sense for him to explain at this point. He's been playing the game for one day. Just say what your first impressions are. Don't explain the entire game and every single mechanic it's got. There's no point in this. It's filler content. It's the definition of filler. And advance the story. So... It's kind of a unique... But I kind of have to let it play out so I can skip the, the schedule segment. Because the schedule segment is literally a template. He could actually be recording himself and then playing that video every day as he's making champions pulls in the background. He could literally be do doing this, but he's too dumb. The combination of stuff, and it's very overwhelming at first. When you first hit the open world, you start looking around, you're like, dude, there's a lot of shit out here to do. So I played for three hours yesterday. I couldn't tell you at the end of three hours what the hell this game is about. I have no clue. It's that confusing. It's that kind of ambiguous at this point. I don't know where Sonic is. I don't know what happened to his friends. I don't know who the enemies are. I don't know anything. What I can tell you is I did some epic fights. I did some pretty cool collectibles and puzzles. I did a lot of combat. So there was some story development that made absolutely no sense. In general, it's not a bad game at all. I'm actually very much enjoying it. But... Man, it doesn't really do much to hold your hand and tell you what the hell's going on. It's very confusing, to say the least. So all that being said, um, <clears throat> I am enjoying the game. Absolutely. Three hours in, I like it. I don't know if that will keep up. Because the thing is, if the entirety of the game is open world roaming and these little mini challenges with a few boss fights and things thrown in here or there, that might be good for like one or two sessions. But it very well may wear out its welcome if we're just not getting enough story development to care. You know what I mean? If the whole game is just gameplay, 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 um, without much of anything else, I don't know how much that will work. I guess we'll find out, all right? But so far, so good. My one major complaint is the graphics. Much like Gotham Knights, <laughs> the, the graphics sadly don't hold up for a modern console. <laughs> what about the, the completely dead open world that looks like you're playing an alpha version of a sandbox that's not even finished yet? What about that? That's okay. That's cool. There's tons is of that a part of the graphics? Pop. I don't know. Um, There's a lot of pop in. And definitely the graphics look last gen. They don't look like a current gen game at all. And a lot of people have been complaining recently about more games coming out saying, why do they not look so good? Right? I don't know. I don't know. What's so up with game development that they're not making games look so good? I can't, can't answer that. I guess you have to ask the developers, but we're getting like several of them now. Right? But he needs to dick ride the game, at least for now, uh, because... In the last few days, he was shitting majorly on people that gave it poor reviews. And he called them idiots and morons and all these other words. So he needs to like the game. He kind of put himself in this box where he has to like it. Because he's objective. Where these games are coming out. And otherwise, the games are good, but the games just don't look that good. Um, Dude, the graphics are not good. It's got kind of shrug. Maybe it's because it's cross-platform. For example, my rune says, well, it's because it's on the Switch. Well, that's stupid. That's stupid. Like, seriously, that's really dumb. What is dumb? Um, that because they made it cross-platform on the F and Switch, that the game runs like, or doesn't run like shit, but looks bad on the other better consoles. Like, why nerf your game? Why nerf your game? Literally, they told you because it's on the Switch. Obviously, they should have done like other games and just downgraded and post for the Switch. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know. Um... So this whole segment went to I don't know. 
So all that being said, I like it. I'm looking like a lot of DSP segments, they just end up at the I don't know point. The more it'll be alternated with God of War starting this Saturday. So it'll be like God of War Friday, Sonic Saturday, God of War Sunday, Sonic Monday, God of War Tuesday, and we're gonna do it like that for a bit. Uh, but then there's new games coming out the week after, <clears throat> so that's definitely gonna change too. Okay. Okay. Um. So there we go. Let's continue on with the schedule. Sonic will be the main. All right. This uh, this gets a skip as big as possible until we're in the present. So let's teleport to the present. Get in that time machine, everybody. I got girlfriend problems. Do you think it's time? Wait, what? Are we giving shoutouts now? Was it that fast? DSP tries it. Holiday themed edition. Whatever it may be. Oh, we're right. shilling the memberships. Okay, good. I absolutely love. The he loves it. And I want he it. loves the Christmas marathon, even though he fell asleep last year. When he was playing Skyrim, he fell asleep. Literally. Do it this year, but obviously. But he loves it. It's always geared towards a motivational goal of support. It would be great if we could get that. Motivational goal of support. And the members keep dropping, by the way. Wow. They were in the 880s yesterday. Now they're 878. And when the hundreds of memberships expire, the situation is going to get very dark. Hopefully, Team Ico Gamer has, uh, has his wallet ready to bust. Sooner rather than later. So, if you're here and you're like, wow, I'd really like to support Phil's channel in a big way. Gifting memberships would be a yep. great way to do that. Now we're literally just begging for gifted members. He knows that people won't naturally become members, so we're just shilling gifted memberships because he knows that that's a way that his channel is going to grow. In the God of War place. Quote, unquote, grow, because that's not actual growth. And it would be, again, better. Because last time, let me remind you, for him to actually get all of those gifted memberships, somebody had to run view bots on him so he can actually accept those memberships. Like, that actually had to happen. And he opened his chat. Uh, it, he removed the sub-only mode so the members can actually be gifted and not refunded. To get it within the next one to two weeks before we get... So, yes, at this point, everybody knows, and he knows, of course, since the gifted memberships became a thing, and I did a stream when that happens, and both of us got gifted memberships, and it was a lot of fun, you guys. It was massive growth for everybody. But yeah, he knows from the very beginning that this is the future. It's just some pay pig opening up their wallet and just sending a massive amount of gifted memberships. Those uh, memberships that were gifted expired, and then it kicks us way so far away from the goal that it's not feasible to hit. Okay? Right, it's not feasible. Um, all right, that's all I really had to say. I have no gaming news whatsoever. And that's it? About today. No. That's it. Instead, what I'd like to do is shout outs. Shout outs and, and Q&A. Maybe a little bit of Q&A. A, a little, little bit. Game. All right. So... Let's start on the YouTube side of things this morning. On the YouTube side of things, our first contribution was from Rich from Review Tech USA, who has this real habit of. Oh, we're getting a Review Tech USA rant. That's going to be fantastic. Oh, I've made it abundantly clear that I want nothing to do with him. He still talks about me. He still slanders me. He still makes shit up about me on his streams. He talks out of his ass about me. And then he comes here this morning about 40 minutes ago when I was not even here sitting at the laptop, and he does a super chat. Okay. Truth is, I probably would have just banned him on site if I saw him, but uh, I he, he already scrolled off the screen many, 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 you know. Oh, look up. at the alpha male DSP. Alpha DSP. I don't have the ability to do that. Alpha. But, uh, you know. I was going to ban him. Just read his super chat. Say thanks. Carry on. That's how you are the bigger man. And not just shit talk him like you're a little bitch. The message. He wants to make drama. He's he wants to make here. drama. You know, I don't give a shit about this guy. But you literally gave him the drama. You gave him the drama just now. You shit on him. And he laughed at you. And he just sent you five bucks. 70% of which uh, Susan is going to take. So big ups, DSP. You're the bigger man. All right. Lysifer Soul. Has been oh, Lysifer Soul is here. Thank you, Lysifer Soul. Uh-oh. Remember this guy? He used to be a big pay pig. Hopefully, he's going to be a big pay pig now, you guys. Or he also was uh, was in this weird, very wheelchair beef with uh, with only iced coffee. Ryan Wilson re-upped his membership in four months as you're one of the best streamers on YouTube, Phil. Oh, yeah. I appreciate you saying that. If YouTube had one streamer, he still wouldn't be the best. Thank you for that. Uh, Jason Sipple re-upped his membership for a year and says, liking the new Phil, good luck with God of War. I don't know what you mean by the new Phil, unless you haven't been around for a very long time. <laughs> and then you came back and you really Oh, the new he Phil. Definitely feels very different today than No, 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 no. Guys. The new Phil. We're talking about the, since the day you announced you wanted to be interviewed and it came to you in a dream that you wanted to be interviewed because he had this dream where he 
gave everybody his sob story and they all clapped. And then he woke up and then he was like, dude, I want to be interviewed. And then he became somebody else. He was a born again beggar. I can understand. That's what happened. But, uh, for me. That's the new Phil. I just kind of scratch my head. I don't know what you mean by that. Specifically. Scratch your head. Don't scratch too much. You're, the rest of your hair is going to fall off. Thank you, Jason, for the support. Rocketman262 did a super chat saying, I got girlfriend problems. Do you think it's time for men? Oh, this was the question from yesterday. This time it was phrased properly. So he's not going to give you this long-winded segment of acting like he's confused about what it meant. I mean, that's up to you. It's your own prerogative. That's one of the cool things about humanity is that you can you can you know do whatever you want, uh, depending on where you live. Because some sadly some cultures still don't allow or accept certain lifestyles or you know certain sexual orientations or, or preferences. Um, personally, I say go for whatever makes you happy, whatever floats your boat. It doesn't affect me. I don't care. Be happy. That's that. That's my philosophy in life. Six seventy two. Did a super chat says I'll tip $180 if you play and finish. Give me God of War mode. No. No. Actually, it's, it's not going to do that. Story. Oh, God is it a funny story? Came out. Right. Oh, remember, this makes me uh, remember when Wings played it on the hardest difficulty because 672 is a pay pig for Wings as well because he's a cuck for both of them. He's a massive cuck for both lol cows. Uh, it, it, it reminds me when Wings played on the hardest difficulty and got stomped by the very first boss so hard that he would almost cried. It's fantastic. Do you think the incident was a publicity stunt or did he accidentally leave the camera on? I still think it was a publicity stunt. Look, uh, if, if it was a publicity stunt, then he should have been uh, an attractive female. That's when it would have worked. Like a, an old guy who looks like a bum jerking off in a camera, not a lot of positive things are going to come out of that. It's it's not very effective. He could have done a lot more things that would have been a more effective publicity stunt than actually jerking off. I think it was a genuine accident, and it haunts him to this day. It's probably going to be the biggest regret of his life, because this is how everybody knows him now, as the guy who jerked off. Of course, they know him as something, which uh, for a narcissist is better than being known for nothing and everybody forgets about you but still he would probably be want to be known for other stuff even if it was a publicity stunt i played it on the regular what was a publicity stunt was when he uh, talked about a uh, moist critical and he expected critical to actually watch his video and react to it on his own stream and he didn't do that and then dsp complained that it didn't work out the next day so yeah the difficulty okay so did, so did Kat. Um, we decided at the time that we wanted to watch someone else play it as well. So we started watching someone else play it. They decided to do it on the harder difficulty. Like they, they thought, oh, this is like going to be, this is going to, I guess, prove that I'm good at games or whatever. It really made their playthrough work. Uh, big ups Cody like, Taylor no for a super chat, I forgot to say. They hadn't played the game first at all. This was their first run through. But the I don't game. think it was a publicity and stunt. Playing it, and it just significantly made the playthrough worse. Like, normal enemies that you're just supposed to coast through ended up becoming ridiculously difficult, tedious, and just over-the-top annoying. Okay. There were boss fights. Was the guy annoyed, though? Was he having fun with it? Was it fun? Because sometimes a game being super hard can be fun, depending on who plays it. And DSP is judging, oh, this playthrough was worse. That in the main game, playing on the regular difficulty, were very fun. And for this person playing... They were nothing but a chore, like insane levels of annoyance. Uh, it got so bad, the person actually decided not to do the Valkyrie fights because the Valkyrie fights were so hard on the tougher difficulty, they skipped them. Now, look at my playthrough because I played... Uh, why is DSP so choppy? This is my fault because the laptop I'm streaming on and the bitrate I'm streaming on is trash. But this is the best I can do currently. This is legit the best I can do. So sorry about that. It, it is choppy. I, I know it's choppy, but everything is choppy for me right now. I'm I'm doing my best. On standard difficulty, I went out. So sorry life. about I that. Every Valkyrie fight, and they were very challenging at the end, but it was worth it. You see, one day, you guys, I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna have a green screen and a an HD camera, and it's gonna be in like 1080, 60, 4K, 6K, 8K. So yeah, I'm not going to be stupid, and ruin but not today. Through. Today is trash. Saying, oh, look, uh, me, I have a big e penis. And, uh, you know, I'm such big a e big, penis. strong gamer. Is this why he fought the tree sentinel day one? 
outside of the main spawn when he first started. Is this why he played Resident Evil 2, uh, the remake, on the hardest difficulty? Because he's not measuring his EP-ness. This is also a segment we had yesterday. Because I took on the harder difficulty. Listen, there's absolutely nothing wrong with playing the game on a harder difficulty, but I really feel like that's a, that's a, a second or third run goal. But you just said that if you were playing it on the biggest difficulty, it's like measuring your ep -ness. You can't just contradict yourself like that in back-to-back -back sentences. Oh yeah, I'm not trying to measure my ep but there's also nothing wrong with that. You want to experience the game at the default levels with the game developers intended you to play it at. No, you want to experience the game whatever way you want to experience it. Playing a video game is your own experience, and you can play it in any way you want. You can play it on the easiest difficulty ever, and still have fun and get your your value for your money. That's that's all. You don't have to listen to fucking DSP tell you how you want to play the game. First, it's a fucking video game. And if you want to go back and do a second run and really challenge yourself and go for these uh, alternate, uh, let's TV. say his WWE account gets hacked, gone for good. Do you think he will have the strength to stream the next day without crying? Uh, I think he's going to have a backup game that he's going to jump on. Because, like, his stuff is, it's, I don't know, man, it's mental at this point. Uh, it's not just him playing a video game. This shit is, like, ruining his life actively. And it, it's it's a combo with him probably drinking while playing it. Because... Let's be honest. He's known for doing stuff like that. Of course, I don't have proof of him drinking while playing it. I'm just speculating. Uh, but I think if, if his account was gone, as one day is going to happen, he's either going to get bored of the game or another game is going to come out that is like Champions that is just as interesting, just as engaging, and just as uh, addictive. Or the game is just going to close down and he's not going to be able to play it anymore. He's going to find something else because he is addicted to that spending. He's addicted to that to that gambling effect that you get when you play those games. So it definitely is going to happen, and it's going to keep happening. Just like he's admitted playing different games in the past, like Supercard, like Champions, like Dokkan Battle, like other games, uh, it, there will ev always be the next one. And goals or whatever it may be, then you do that. And he will always be in denial because he is Mr. Pignosis. He's going to pignotize himself that he doesn't have a problem, He's not going to acknowledge it, which is the first step to actually fixing your problem. And he's going to just carry on as usual, as, as everything just falls apart, as it has been and still is. I don't understand why anyone in their right mind would pick a high-profile new release and say, I just want to play it on the harder difficulty first. Like, who are you proving anything to? Yourself? Are you, do you really have such lacking of self-confidence in yourself that you feel you have to play it at a harder difficulty to start? Like, what's wrong with you? Where, where's your shortcomings in your head that you just can't enjoy a game at face value, but you have to, like, all of a sudden prove your mettle, right? That doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe he just wanted a challenge. I don't know why. Maybe he just thought that would be the best kind of experience for that guy. I don't know why. People just do that. That's why difficulty settings exist. Why not? Why not? Really confusing. That for fun. People like being challenged. That's why people play insanely challenging games. That's why people play Dark Souls on, on a level one run. Why not? It's a video game. They can play it any way they want. This weird mentality. The point is to have fun, but they have this weird mentality. Okay. Mentality. Um, it is what it is. I'm playing it on the standard difficulty. Uh, SMR Tad 2086 uh, has re their membership for 13 months at the super supporter level. Thank you so much. He said, as a fan of mythology, I'm excited for God of War. Speaking of myths, Adam Copeland, also known as Edge in WWE, got cast as Ares in a Disney Plus series based on a young adult book series that I grew up reading. Percy Jackson? That's the only one I could think of that deals with gods and it's a young adult series. Is it Percy Jackson? Which is weird, because didn't they have a, a, a movie that didn't do well? So if that's what it is, that would confuse me because you would think, why would they be doing that if it already failed as a movie? I don't know. Anyway, thank you, SMR, for the support. <clears throat> it is Percy Jackson. Wow, that was an insanely lucky guess. I had no clue. They had three movies? I didn't even know that. What? I didn't, I didn't even know it was a trilogy. Weren't you a movie buff uh, who owned, like, hundreds of Blu-rays? But they were old, old, old movies. Old movies, I mean. Yeah. Anyway. Um, 
Captain DCW is here and has done a five dollar super chat. Thank you, sir. He says, "Have fun with God of War." Thank you, I'm sir. Be, uh, getting the game until Friday, so I'll be doing a new game plus run of Gotham Knights instead. Well, I hope you enjoy that. And uh, oh, he's picking his ear. Enjoy. Totally understand. He low key looked at it as well, but he wasn't actually picking his ear, just yeah, like his so earlobe. To avoid spoilers, I'm I'm totally in, in agreement with you. You would not want to spoil an awesome game like this. Uh, hopefully, I will see you. Once you get a chance to play and maybe get past me, which, you know, again, with me playing uh, only every other <clears throat> day, well, likely within a week, you'll be ahead of me. And I'm going to be playing this thing for weeks on end until I beat it. So, thank you, Captain. Okay, so now we swap over. Let's see here. We swap over to tips. Our first tip of the day is an $8 tip from... Radical Jaws. They want me to ask the Magic 8-Ball a question. Let's let's ask the 8-Ball the question first, then we'll do the animation and everything. So, if I eat a Taco Bell meal, will I get liquid dynamite coming out of my behind? By the way, I love your content. Have a great day, Phil. So, he wants to know, Radical Jaws wants to know, if he eats Taco Bell, will he then be taking a very wet and slippery ride down the Hershey Highway? Let's oh, out. God right. damn. <laughs> scat, scat, scat. The Scat Man. The Scat Man. My sources say no. The sources say no. Apparently, you'll get lucky. Or maybe you have a stronger guts than most of us. Usually Taco Bell, for the, at the very least, results in a lot of gas, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, so I, say, I should say in my experience, not in my opinion, in my experience. First of all, our first tip of the day was an awesome God of War animation. Thank you so much. Awesome animation. Jaws. Let's get you up on the leaderboard. <laughs> First tip of the playthrough. Actually, today, not the playthrough. We didn't start playing it yet. Okay. Very nice. My nose itches. Okay, continuing on here. Our second tip of the day is a $5 tip that I have received. From Brock. He says, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my scroll. That was a terrible Brock impression, wasn't it? All right. Thank you very much for a $5 tip. Brock. Let's get that added to our running total here. <clears throat> there we go. Continuing on. Continuing on. Let's go. I a dollar tip. This is the worst Wiggy, part, man. Saying, what would Rich from you take USA need to do for oh. the makeup? I feel like he's a silly but good guy. And we get... Uh, it, this might have been a Snow Carl segment as well. Because now we're going to talk about Rich again. And Rich... This is how he got cucked, that he didn't even have to pay for this. Somebody else paid on his behalf, and now he's going to get a segment dedicated to him. So fantastic. Big ups to fucking Piggly Wiggly. He can't do it. He I've can't do it. A lot of times, he can't do it. He's done. That bridge is burned. We can never be friends again. You fucker. The way, I'm not going to take the bait and talk about this. Oh, he's not going to take the bait. Here's what I really don't like about Rich. And he took he the bait. To he immediately takes the bait. Does whatever he can do for personal gain and doesn't care about the <laughs> Everything is about personal gain. You do everything for personal gain. And you put out garbage. Garbage. Around him, all right? I used to be exactly like that. Oh, I used I to be like that. Content creator. I was the kind of person I would say and do whatever as long as it got me content right. for the day and it got me views or whatever on YouTube. I didn't give a shit. There was entire rants I went on about games like Minecraft. I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. I didn't care. Deaspy considers so water right? sports so a detractor meme. That's rich on a daily basis. <laughs> why though? Water sports. I I don't get it. Why why would water sports be a detractor meme? Just the other. Day, Is this like a a rich thing? I talked about it on the podcast. He misrepresented something that I said on the show. One more. Uh, big ups twerk to spec for a super chat. Than a dollar. Okay. But chat, why is this? Uh, why is water sports a detractor meme? Oh, and now we're gonna talk about that bullshit fucking video about the less than a dollar. When it was literally some other dude than Rich talking about that thing. And I explained to the audience, we've been down this road five years ago. When I first started becoming a full-time streamer, we had people who were trying to do very small microtransaction contributions in an attempt to troll the stream. Microtransactions. Within a minute, 
And then they would expect me to constantly be shouting them out with these innocuous little messages that had nothing to do with anything. They were trying to get the pop-ups to constantly pop up. Then they started using troll names. So when you enable that behavior, all you're going to do is open up your stream to further trolling. And at that time, over five years ago, I talked directly with my live audience and we came to a determination. It should be a dollar, whether it was it was bits back then, it was 100 bits, whether it was uh, you know a dollar tip, it should be a dollar should be the threshold. If someone contributes a dollar, you shout it out, you give them some attention, you say thanks. If not, then you don't bother with it because that's how you're going to control your stream. If you don't do that, it's just you're just opening yourself up to constant trolling, harassment, and derailment, and you don't want that. People want a stream that has content, not just me talking to trolls all day, right? Right. This is something we collectively agreed on. Over we five collectively years ago. agreed no one's on. No had an issue with it. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I mean that makes sense. That makes sense. You don't want people sending you like twenty cent tips, and then PayPal takes like what a ten cent uh, tax or whatever. Okay. That so makes no sense. A very rare make it a dollar thing that I get a tip that was lower than a dollar. We're going right. I made it abundantly clear on my stream why we had this rule in place, and we moved on, and no one had an issue. How does Rich cover it? Phil says he doesn't want any small contributions. He's not grateful for those. He only wants hundred dollars larger. <laughs> oh. Dude, I didn't hear Rich say that at all, or I maybe he did, because that video was really incoherent. It was really hard to get through. Now that I, it kind of sat in my brain for a, a little bit. It was really hard to actually extrapolate anything from what happens to it because there's rich there's another guy and there's a guy talking over it who i i don't even know who it is chat said it was his editor but i don't know because i don't know his editor wow what an ungrateful greedy piece of garbage and you know this is what i mean this is that is true though he is an ungrateful greedy piece of garbage because grateful gratitude is something that you express through actions you don't just say hey i'm very grateful for this meanwhile you should pay for this goal just like when, uh, remember a couple of days ago, he said, oh, I screwed myself uh, from the, uh, what was it? The pizza party stream. When I played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I should have put this as a member's goal. So you, you're saying that you regret not getting money for it instead of doing it for free? You're such a nice and grateful guy. Such a nice guy, DSP. It's bullshit. It's, it's blatant misrepresentation. This is what he does all the time. This is the kind of person he is. Why do you do it? Because he has no content. The he man has, no, has content. no content. Look at what he does on his channel. He has no content. All he can do is talk about drama and news and nonsense around him because he has no meaningful content for anyone. So that's what he does all day. I don't like that. I don't support that. I want nothing to do with that. So is he going to change from being a guy who makes drama content and, and any day can make shit up at my expense to get views for his channel? No. Therefore, there's literally nothing Rich could ever do to become a better person and actually uh, make me not dislike him. Oh, there's nothing he can do to become a better person. This is very interesting, though, because it's not – there's nothing he can do to, to make things us between uh, – make things between us better – like he said in the end of the sentence, there's nothing he could do to become a better person. So you can't improve. Only DSP can get better after 15 years of being shat on. All right. Only Phil can improve. Nobody else can improve. So, I mean, maybe if he completely never mentioned me ever again, but even if that's the case, I still don't like the kind of content he puts out because it's harmful. It's derogatory. It's fucking stupid. It's for dunces. And, you know, he, he could do better. He literally took the bait. Remember in the beginning of this segment? I shouldn't even ask you if you remember because it just happened. Unless you're like Joe Biden, you probably remembered. He said, I'm not going to take the bait. And we got like a two-minute Rich segment. Congrats, DSP. He just doesn't want to. He has no desire. So now Rich is going to go on Twitter and he's going to make a video about this. And he's going to be like, Phil, you called my viewers dunces. And your viewers are actual, like, wheelchairs. And, and that's gonna be it. He cares about is this rather than what he's actually putting he out. He cares about this. So I don't like the guy. I want nothing to do with him. Okay. I received another dollar tip from So Carl. Do you think normal difficulty is made for the average child aged gamer? I'm already done reading your message. I'm not even gonna read the rest of it. No. First of all, <laughs> this game is rated for mature because it's for mature audiences. A child aged gamer should not be playing it. Uh, you're making insane assumptions. That have nothing to do with reality. You're out in some fantasy land. All right. Default difficulty or normal difficulty is made just to be that. The default experience intended to be experienced by the game developers. 
There's some ex uh, exceptions there where game developers have outright said, oh, actually, we want you to play hard. That means they're idiots. When you say normal or default, that means the normal person or default gamer, that's what they want you to play. That's what was intended to be the ride you're supposed to go on. All right? If you want to up the ante and challenge yourself, go for it. It's nice that the option is there, but that was not meant to be the default experience. That's why it's called default or normal. All right? It has nothing to do with a child. It has nothing to do with anything. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Stop saying dumb <laughs> shit. As if, as if kids don't play games that are rated mature, because you can just buy it from, from the online store without having to verify your age in any way. Come on, DSP. Kids are playing GTA. I received another $8 tip. You know this. From Alex from Phoenix. He says, I played the first two hours last night on No Mercy difficulty. Amazing, but it's definitely better to play a balanced experience. It's time. It's time. It's Kratos time. Kratos time. Alex from Phoenix, thank you for the tip. Incidentally, you tipped $8 but didn't ask the eight ball the question. That's perfectly fine, though. Let's get your animation. Oh, uh, here it is. Thank you so much. And the animation is for $5. <laughs> A supporter has just tipped $5. This is how streamlined his animations are. Even the, the amount is incorrect. Because <laughs> he got banned from all the services that lets you play animations automatically. So big ups, DSP, for the streamlining experience. So far? <laughs> Everything is fake on this stream. Everything yeah. is artificial. Now we need to type it on the leaderboard. We need to calculate manually. And also, there's another. It's so streamlined. It's so optimized. Chip, a dollar forty-nine. Great tip. podcast. This one came in from Anzo Kamaru. Says, although I don't really care about God of War, I'm playing it on a harder difficulty. It's not about my EP. Oftentimes, games are way too easy to be fun and enjoyable, especially mainstream games. It's way more fun to me and many others to be challenged and utilize game mechanics the best that they can be, and that's fine. That's that's the cool thing, is with a game like this, right? You have the flexibility to play it how you want. It's always good to have the option rather than to not have the option. Am I right? Give me more accessibility. Give me more options. Have it be harder if you want. Have it be easier if you want. Whatever. It's good to have the option. But you just said that uh, if you play it on a hard difficulty, it's measuring e penises DSP. That's just what you said like five minutes ago. Come on, dude. Come on. And now we're all for accessibility and easy difficulty and hard well, difficulty. Here's the major problem. Now it's great. Oh, gatekeepers. Right? Let's see the gatekeepers. And be like, ha, if you don't play God of War Ragnarok on, give me God of War difficulty. You're a pansy. You're a little wimpy journo. And you yeah, you don't have to listen to those people. You don't have to. It's video games. You, they, those people don't matter. They're white noise. You shouldn't be ranting about them because now that you're giving them exactly what they want. Because you're fucking... And he does it with the, the arms crossed. The game and you probably like... Such great body language. Click a bit or uh, quick time event games. You know, choose your own adventure games. And I bet your favorite game is My Little Pony. And I, you know, like, what? What are you talking about? Right? Seriously, what are you talking about? It's fucked up. And people do this all the time, especially with FromSoft games and stuff like that, where, you know, oh, if you use all the game develop, all the game mechanics in Elden Ring that are put there, obviously, to make you be able to beat the game and succeed, you're a wimp. You, you, you didn't really beat it. What? Listen, I will agree with some people who say in Elden Ring, if you just summon constantly, it, dumb, it dumbs down the game. Why, though? The game mechanic is there. And that means if someone just wants to play the game like that, they have the right to do that, and you have no right to criticize them. But you said I would agree. Now. Wait, 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 wait. I would agree to criticize people for summoning, but the mechanic is there, so it's okay. But you agreed, though. If do you actually have an opinion? Trying to put out a playthrough, and literally they're cheesing the game by summoning every moment, and they're barely playing it and you don't think the playthrough is entertaining, that's a valid criticism of But it time. still doesn't work like that, because I've summoned stuff, and I've summoned the Mimic Deer, because I'm a, a dirty cheeser. It's it's still not like a, a breeze through. It's still pretty difficult. Okay. But they still have the right to play it however they want. He also, yes, he was uh, jump attack spamming. So yeah, that kind of goes out the window. He was doing the, the jump R2 every chance he got. It was just obnoxious the, how much he was doing it. In God of War has a default difficulty. If you don't like that difficulty, it's your own prerogative to play it hard or easy or whatever you want. 
but it's not your right to criticize anyone else who's playing the game and say, waggle your finger at them and say, ah, I'm the gaming e-police, and how dare you take the easy way out by playing the standard difficulty, you know? Stupid. And like I said, especially a game like this... Oh yeah, he also did have the Discord channel dedicated to hand-holding him. He definitely did. And he was looking at guides, 100%. He was looking at guides. But if you put out content and you're cheesing all the time, it's not good content. We know it's like I think he even called it a valid playthrough. I think he called it like that. You can fact check me on this. You can go look it up. We know there's insane amount of content. I want Stop being mean to my adoptive daddy. Hey, hey, Derek. Derek finally got some uh, access to some funds, dude. That's amazing. You finally got the money. You should go and spend it on your adoptive daddy. <laughs> and maybe some someday he's going to become your real daddy. Experience Big ups, Derek. Yep. Meaningful content. I We're taking the time in between uh, fapping and tweeting at porn stars to send a myself. meaningful contribution. Now, because I put on a harder difficulty, now I can't even beat parts of it. You know, that would be really stupid. I'd be shooting myself in the foot and actually, you know, hurting, hindering my own personal great experience with the game. So I'm not going to do that. All right. I'm going to play it at normal as intended by the game devs. If you want to play it at a hard difficulty yourself, you are very welcome to do so. But that's just not what I'm going to do. <clears throat> okay. What does just... IP stand for in Derek? IP? It's, it's his actual name. That's, that's it. It's, it's Derish IP. That's his name. Another dollar tip. That's actually how his actual name is. Not even joking. See here. There's no memes. This anonymous person says, can you admit you're not good at hard games? It's okay. We don't think any less of you. <laughs> people who prefer harder games. And now this is literal bait. And you're, you're about to get shit on. Now, number one. Because <laughs> he did the squinty eyes and he's still doing it. You didn't think I've ever said I'm good at difficult games. I don't think that's the case. I would say out of all the games out there. The only game that could be considered difficult that I've actually done well at is probably Classic Street Fighter because I have so much experience in it. <clears throat> That's probably it. <clears throat> I mean, if there's a, 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 a Call of Duty that I really enjoy and I play the shit out of it, eventually <laughs> I can do well at it. But take a look at me trying to play Modern Warfare 2 and get my ass handed to me because I haven't played a Call of Duty in so long. I'm getting, you know, I'm getting hosed, right? I admit that. I'm not stupid. Uh, look at FromSoft games, right? <clears throat> I, uh, I know I'm not great at them, but when I play them more and I learn the mechanics, then I start to really enjoy them, right? But I'm not great at those. When did I ever say I was, right? Like, people have these weird misconceptions. Because sadly, <laughs> what I can say is people... Is the trolls. The wrong people. Is the trolls, yeah. Is the trolls. ...with me and listening to what I say every day. Or are you sitting on a fucking restream or detractor stream who just sits there and says negative shit about... Yeah, big ups, big ups. If you're sitting over there and then you come over here and say something dumb, all I can say is, you're dumb. You're dumb. Big ups, chat. You're dumb. And you did it to yourself. But okay. here being dumb is okay. We accept dumb people because I'm dumb as well. Okay. That's why I do this instead of playing games and putting out meaningful content. I put out meaningless content. <laughs> Here's another tip. An $8 tip. $8 tip. Let's ask From the Magic 8 Ball. Person. They did not put a message into their tip, which is oh. weird. A lot of $8 tips coming in with nothing attached. That's really weird. I appreciate the $8 tips, by the way. I'm not... I'm not talk down talking. That was just weird because I think people would be asking the eight ball questions and they're not. Unless something's going on. I don't know. But anyway, thank you for the eight dollar tip. Let's add that. It's an anonymous tip. <clears throat> another eight dollar tip has come in. And it's another one with no message attached. What is going on here? The heck? What? Why are people not asking the eight ball? Something up. <laughs> A lot of eight dollar tips with no messages attached. Yeah, hey, what's up, uh, sculptor of omens? There's another one. I'll play the animation. Keep sculpting, dude. Uh, thank you. Uh, why is he so confused? And the pop up is and for five the third bucks. One. What? And this one has no message attached. Whoa! Wait a minute. Aboard now, the stream. Three identical ones came in. Let me confirm that they're actually <laughs> came through. And this isn't some we have another fake tip saga. It's going to be real. Come on. It's going to be real. Email glitch. It's an email glitch. Right. Hold on a second here. Call it that. We need to confirm they're real before we count them. Of course we do. It's a DSP stream. Okay. No, I can confirm all three of them came through. They are legit. I don't know. Yeah, we get a tip audit segment. I love the tip audits. There's three $8 tips with no messages attached to them. 
and they all just came through. Like I when people I figured out how to send that. fake tips to uh, to Muxy, they figured out and they were sending him like thousand dollar tips, and he was like, "Wait, wait, wait, we need to do a tip audit." And he would just pause everything to check for tips, and they were fake. And then he stopped using Muxy and never came back. Even though now he can go back and and use that service even though of course we figured out they can send him fake tips so now the the scam is kind of debunked using but thank you whoever this was who did three eight dollar tips i mean he got us up to 48 dollars in tips which is a great start thank you for that but yeah i scratched my head by the way guys i will say that one of the best things i think was a good improvement this year to my stream content is the ability with these new templates to color everything custom for each playthrough. As you can what? see, what I've tried to do for God of War Ragnarok is make it kind of a blue ice or snow. What? Color. Are you That's fucking kind of serious? Thing. And I'm going to have that for the entire playthrough as I'm playing God of War Ragnarok. I'm gonna Dude is flexing features from like 2013. This shit has been available for as long as text has been available to put on your screen. Wow, amazing. I can put text in a special color on my screen to make it custom. Try to have this icy blue uh, Somebody should make him a custom layout for the level one podcast that has God of War in it or some shit. For you guys? And then DMCA it because that's what trolls do. Let me know what you These think. These assholes. Think about it. If you like that. Uh, and like I say, if you take a look at all my playthroughs, for Sonic Frontiers, I'm trying to do dark blue for Sonic. For... Modern Warfare 2, I'm doing green, which is the color of the logos and everything. Like, dude, it's green. he just wants, like, oh, dude, this dude is so fucking pathetic. He wants to get all the uh, all the compliments for doing the very bare minimum. Like, you can't possibly do more bare minimum than this. And he's still like, oh, you guys, tell me if you like it. Please tell me you like it. You know, I put, I put some extra effort in it, so tell me you like it. And then in addition... Tell me what you uh, think about what it. What else am I doing right now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for Gotham Knights, I'm doing purple because purple is what like is happening, Gotham bro? Knights. So I'm trying to do this for every game, so that way basically it's kind of themed towards the game. I like that. I like having that kind of control. Previously, I had such an outdated setup that it was all limited to very limited stuff I could do, but now I could do everything, which is really nice. I hope you guys like that. Let me know what you think. Um, another eight dollar tip just came through. This is I don't know. Okay, and listen to this one. An $8 tip came through with a question. For the Magic 8-Ball, can I ask a question? Magic 8-Ball, can the person who keeps tipping $8 ask a question? Pretty hazy. Try again. All right. Magic 8-Ball, can the person who keeps tipping $8 ask you a question? Fantastic content. I love this. I'm sorry about oh, good. what's about to happen. I think we're going to get some, some feedback because I need to check the poll and it's getting real so hard. So whoever this is, thank you so much for these many tips that have come in. All these $8 tips. We do yet another one. Okay. Okay. It's laggy. Uh, okay. So we are going to watch him play God of War, I guess. But you still have some time to vote. I'm going to let this play out right? until the, the podcast is done. Which, let's look at the present. Oh, it's still not done. But I'm almost... Oh, 17 minutes. We need to catch up 17 minutes worth of this trash. Jesus Christ. Uh, so with that, we actually are going to hit the Gunner Glasses goal. And we're going to hit the Glasses goal. So we get some stall. New Gunner Glasses is... Which, uh, no, there's no reason to go back and, and no one cares. It's just something dumb that trolls do. Wait, 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 what? What do we do? Kirby. I already oh, beat Kirby. The trolls did He's something dumb. The ultimate endgame super boss. Which very Because he compared it to Dark Souls and everybody made fun of him. And they even wrote articles about him comparing it to Dark Souls. There was an actual article. Honestly, I could be if I had time that night. I just had been out of time. I had gone extra long to try to beat it. And I still couldn't because the game was stupid and had no checkpoints. Uh, no, there's no reason to go back and, and no one cares. No one it's cares. dumb that trolls do. For the example, trolls do. You know, when I, when I rage quit... Uh, Scarface, or I rage quit Persona 3, or I didn't legitimately beat Final Fantasy 13 3 Lightning is a piece of shit. Or yeah, you rage quit it and you compared it to Dark Souls, an actual Kirby game. You compared it to Dark Souls, and I haven't closed the poll yet because the the margin is is too slow. It's too low. 
is like 53 to 47. So you still have some time to turn the tables around. Hint, hint. And then I'm going to subtract all the troll votes. And then I'm going to get what I want. Which I don't even know what I want. I'm fine with watching him play a stupid game. Because I want to see all the clown mode shit he's going to do. Whatever the fuck it was called. You know. That's just their, their stupid memes they roll with. And no one cares. And I pay no attention. The stupid memes they roll with. Such as you rage quitting a game and calling it Dark Souls. That's a stupid meme. We made this up. Even though it happened on his stream. And it was clipped from his stream. But we made it up. It's a stupid meme. That he rages at video games. Ladies and gentlemen. Can we adjourn? Oh, what? A $25 tip. Amazing. $25. This is literally what this stream has become. It's just him counting money. Literally. Uh, when is the next dab being said? Probably tomorrow. If we can figure out some stuff. Because we need to figure out some stuff. Because we were on break for like a week. So we need to figure out the format. And we need to figure out the, the graphic design and stuff. And this but it, it is happening. It's not canceled. It is from tip. It just says tip. That's it. Tip. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> well, first of all. Biggest tip of the day, let's get a nice God of War themed animation for you here on the stream. Thank you so much for the $20 tip. Excuse me, $25 tip. I'm just going to say it's anonymous because they did not put a name in there. Game yet. Let's try this again. I mentioned this on the Daily Wrap last night. Very briefly, I just want to gloss over it here on the Level 1 podcast this morning. You may have noticed this last week, I dramatically cut down on, if not tried to outright eliminate, begging any kind of outright begging. Yes. About money. <laughs> we get the I'm not a beggar segment. Asking for anything. Oh, this is great, man. This is great. Thing on my streams. The reason being, there's two main reasons. The main reason is that you're waiting for somebody to interview you and you don't want to look bad because you're an actual beggar and you don't want to look like it. So you cut back on it. So you don't look bad. That's why. And because Moist Critical made fun of you. And because you're waiting for somebody to interview you. That's why. And after that's done, about a week after that, we're going to be back to guilt tripping and manip manipulating. That's 100% verified. Okay. Because I looked into the future. I have a Magic 8 Ball of my own. Number one. That is guys, actually free to you use. You guys essentially have been telling me recently you're tired of it. You're like, Phil, we get it. You know, you need support. We support. Remote. What about when Rob... Rob on wheels said it. What about when he did it? And DSP said, oh yeah, Rob, I'm not going to beg for a little bit. And then he was begging two days later, and then Rob on wheels uh, broke pignosis. We can. You talk about it too much. It's annoying. But in addition, if you haven't noticed recently, there's a lot of high-profile YouTubers who make things like countdowns and shit like that. Yep. And they say stuff, or, or, you know, I just talked about it over a week ago. It was Moist Critical, who on his stream was like, you know, Seems like Phil's whole thing that he's about is just constantly asking his, his contributors for more contributions. Yeah, that's and then it's home. That's true. That's not what I'm about. And you guys know that if you're actually here to enjoy the content, you know the content is because I love gaming. It's because this is by my lifelong hobby. <laughs> I made YouTube videos for two I love years. gaming. I was able to monetize anything, nor did I try to make it my living. I fell into this as a I didn't try to make it my living, even though in my face reveal I said hopefully if you guys support me. I can do this as a full-time job. But I wasn't trying to do that. I just I just suggested to my viewing audience, and they, they said yes by sending me money and clicking on these ads that I definitely told them to go and click on. Big ups, Phil. Big ups. We're rewriting history that is actually in clips that are on YouTube right now. And you can actually look them up and debunk the bullshit he's trying to make up right now. You know, mistake, basically. When I lost my office job, I was like, well, I need something. Hopefully this works. And then it ended up working. Um, ended up working. I absolutely understand that people don't like hearing about it, nor do I like talking about it. As I said, it's the last thing I want to do on a stream. But that is my life where, you know, it is my livelihood is, is what I make on a stream. And there's been weeks recently where things have been slower. Let's be honest. It's probably because it was no new releases or nothing really of note going on. And it is what it is. But I actively tried in this last week. To try to not do it. And I know that I didn't 100% get there. But I tried my best. Um, in reality, I don't think I've seen many people complain this week about it. <clears throat> which is a good thing. So now, of course, immediately the opposite happens, right? So what happens when the one thing that the people who always shit on Phil 
say is the thing that they shit on him for. What happens when that doesn't happen on Phil's streams? The next thing, it's called moving the goalposts. Oh, moving the goalposts, because he was toxic about everything else. He's toxic about everything else. He had segments shitting on game reviewers and other people and everybody else. He was shitting on Elon Musk as well. Let's see how we move the goalposts, you guys. Let's see. So here's the next thing that happened. Here's the next okay. thing. Here's, I'm not even kidding you. Well, let's see. Phil didn't really e-bag this week at all, right? At all. So now, any time that he mentions any detractor or anything negative at all, that's what we're going to make fun of him for, okay? So then it was the other day, and someone actually gave me advice and said, you should just ignore, if you get a troll tip about drama or whatever, and if it's one of these troll bait tips where they're asking you about known detractor known right. and shit like that. He took the bait like three times today, and he is taking it right now. This is bait right now. He is, he is talking about stuff that people are going to clip out and make fun of him for. He still doesn't know that. You should just ignore it completely. Don't give them the bait. Right. To which I said, okay, that makes sense. In some cases, like, it didn't I work, though. a question about Review Tech. That was fine. That was an honest answer. But outside of that, if people are going to bring up these dumb memes and shit about me, you're absolutely right. I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just going to completely ignore it and not bring it up because why entertain the nonsense that I know is not true? There's just no point in doing it anymore. In fact, the people who are here to enjoy my content and relax with me and have a good time with games don't care about the detractor shit. Right? They wouldn't be here if that were the case. They'd be watching a restream. Yeah, big ups right? to us. So you're right. So that was great advice. And I said, I'm going to take that <laughs> advice, and we're going to cut back on that now, too. So what was the, what's the next thing, then? Here what's the next thing? How funny it is. Oh, <clears throat> this is great, because this was all according to our plans. Because if Phil stops e-begging, and if Phil doesn't bring up the tractor drama, that means people will stop talking about him. Wait, what? Who is who? who said this? Raise your hand if you said this in chat. Who fucking said this? Where did this come from? Because <laughs> if I look at my sub box, no, none of them is uploading videos like that. I haven't seen a single video like that. Oh, this was all according to plan. No, people are still going to talk about DS because he's a fucking lol cow. Who fucking is saying that this? He will actually lose attention on the internet and fade into obscurity. Who is saying he this? He'll fail as a businessman and he'll be gone. What? Who is saying this? No, everybody knows that DSP is going to fade into obscurity when the trolls are gone. And we're still here. We're probably still going to keep being here for a while because he's fun to watch and to make fun of. I'm not kidding you. Bruh. Who is <laughs> like actually saying I'm this? I'm not kidding you. This is what they said next. It's like, this is their, again, the moving of the goalposts. So the moving first, of the goalposts. Too much. Okay, that's done. He's not doing that. That's anymore. done because he stopped for a week because now he has a lot of eyes on him. He stopped for a week, actually, an actual week. Anymore. Oh. He, he doesn't do that anymore. He's up the tractor shit too much. He takes the bait. Okay, he's not doing that anymore. Oh, good. Now he'll fade into obscurity. <laughs> Who's saying this? That's what I mean. Like it just never ends. There was probably just one video made about it, oh, and it's God. like all of the trolls. They are talking about this. And I haven't seen this at all anywhere. Anywhere. God damn, this dude is great. Okay. Summary here. I am perfectly happy. He's happy. To have the audience that I have. All right. The positive audience that I have, that is. The level of, of people and interaction that I have coming to my streams who uh, have a good time with me, who chill with me, who enjoy games for what they are, right? And I really, really like the fact that on my streams, because of the size they are and the level that they are, we can have personal interactions and conversations. We can have a good time together. We can have meaningful time. Rather meaningful than time. Around in a game and flubbing through it and you laughing, we could actually have <laughs> something more than that, something more constructive. Oh. You told me over the last several years that since my streams have changed and the type of content that they are. Dude, this is just like, we're, we're getting like a like an existential crisis on a daily basis. What I do is meaningful, it's meaningful. My life has meaning. I'm not just a joke on the internet. My life has meaning. If we're upset, they can watch- On a daily basis. On a daily basis. Mine can put a smile on their face, they can come to a live stream, we have a conversation. Dude, no. That is meaningful too. No, okay. no. Take away all the trolls and you are gone. That's just the truth of the fact of the matter of the in reality. My, DSP minus trolls equals zero. But the troll's not going to go away because it's fun to make fun of him. Because he gives us this. This is just great.
this is just great. And every once in a while, I imagine a, a different camera perspective of just like being a fly on the wall and looking at this guy talk to a camera all day, convince himself that his life has actual meaning as he is literally a joke. Like he's a living meme. That's all that he is. That's all that the essence of DSP is, is a living meme. And you take away all the meme worthy stuff and then there's nothing left. Is just a boring dude playing games and rambling about his life, and that's that's all that is left. And I appreciate. So if that is meaningful, then your your grade for meaningful, your standard of meaning is very very low. People saying that because that makes me feel like I'm doing something better than just being some dick on the internet, right? No, you're just a dick on the internet. That's that's just that's just how it is. And I'm I'm that, but I own up to it. I'm just a dick on the internet. That's why I make stupid songs and I make stupid thumbnails and I make stupid streams. Cause I'm just a dick on the internet. And he hasn't realized it yet. He has meaning. He is the meaningful content creator. He's so much better than us. Something meaningful because I've changed myself for the better. Cause some dude sent him an email once and he cried. That's right. why. I I have no aspirations to be a ginormous content creator. Because you can't be, because that's just sour grapes for you. You can't be ginormous. That's why you can't even consider having this fantasy of being ginormous. That's why you have to cope and admit that you can't be that. I don't think I will ever have a million subscribers on YouTube. No. I don't think I'm ever going to have streams that are going to have a thousand viewers nope. anymore. Unless you jerk off again or there's massive drama going on. You get like taken down from YouTube. That That's going to be a thousand viewers. I don't think, I don't aspire for any of that. If I can stay at the level I'm at and maybe slowly grow over time. So level one? Right. At a and slowly grow over time. Dude, dude. Let's be honest here. Let's have a sit down. Please take a seat like it's Chris Hansen. You've been doing this for 14 years and you have no aspirations to be anything more than this. Then you failed. You have failed and you're coping over having failed this entire time. This is this is all that this is. If you have no ambition after 14 years of failure in a misery and begging and building this reputation for yourself that you're just a bum, then you're failed. And you're just coming, you're still being in denial about being a failure. And you should kind of just embrace it. And I mean, him embracing it is the level one podcast. That's him embracing it. But that's just him embracing it for the sake of the meme so the meme can hurt less. Because what, uh, what Keemstar told him really hurt him. Just like what Critical told him really hurt him. Because Critical is somebody who he respects. He doesn't respect Keemstar, even though Keemstar is way more successful. He doesn't respect him and still did hurt. But what Critical told him hurts because Critical is actually successful and more likable than he is. So it did. And he tried to own up to the level one podcast meme, the level one meme. But it's still, it, it's kind of a cope. It's not an actual owning up to it, the, the fact that you're a loser and you're a failure. It, it really isn't. Reasonable pace. And at least have an audience that likes the kind of content that I put out and appreciates the kind of person and gamer that I am. Right. I'm perfectly happy with that. Right. I'm not looking for anything bigger than that. You should it's be, fun. though. You should be, though. This is a business. If your business is not growing, then you're failing. Your business should grow. That's what a business should do is do better. A business should perform better. Month after month, quarter after quarter, a business should develop. You can't be just happy with being a shitty business that barely gets any customers. Funny is when these people say, oh, he'll fade into obscurity. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What happen is I will fade out of the public eye of drama. All I right. I will still have a viewer base that likes who I am and supports me. We'll still have positive content and streams, but we won't have the negative element coming in from the All outside. All right. Door. Right. So, right. That negative element how has he help me. How has he convinced himself? DSP. Okay, I'm going to let this play out because I'm cutting him off in the middle of the sentence. But big ups to uh, Larry B and... Fuck, this so laggy. And Chris Legendary for the memberships, dude. I appreciate that. They think it does because they want to feel more self-important and aggrandized. They're not. They no, have DSP. You have no idea how many people contribute to you financially just to make people pissed off. You have no idea. And if the people laughing at you for fun... If they are gone, those people have less incentive to support. And you not paying your bills is not enough for them. They need that attention. They need that clout. So that's the reason why they give you money.
So this is more or less a symbiotic relationship. You might not want to accept that. You might want to delude yourself that even if the trolls are gone, you're still going to have your little community going on. You don't support that community for, for it to be around. The trolls support it, if anything, because the trolls talk about only iced coffee. The trolls talk about Team Ico Gamer. The trolls talk about uh, Rob on Wheels and Derek. The trolls talk about all of them because they're fun to talk about and they're interesting to talk about. Right? Right. And if we are gone, and if all those people making the clips are gone, then DSP will just be another boring bum on the internet, just like uh, Only Use Me Blade. And he's going to be sitting there putting out some trash shit that barely anybody's going to care about. And he's going to fade into beyond obscurity. Life. But DSP fading into obscurity basically means that he has to beg more because he's put himself in this position where his life is too expensive to support. So he will beg more. Therefore, people will be more attracted to make these clips of him begging because they're entertaining. Therefore, the trolls will exist and the cycle will still repeat itself. So there is no way that the trolls are going to be gone and he's going to be doing okay. He's only going to get more cucked. He's only going to get more broke and he's only going to get more paranoid, more nervous. And he's going to have these mental breakdowns on a daily basis while repeating to himself that he's not in fact having mental breakdowns on a daily basis. All they've done is held me down. Why do you think I can't get sponsorship opportunities and things like that because of them? If I was no longer in the public eye of the trolls and I was able to do normal things that people of my size and magnitude can do, I'd be way more successful than I am right now. I'd be able to grow. I'd actually be able to get things that would help me behind the scenes. Why do you think there have been weeks that I, I have to basically beg my audience for support? Because I don't get the opportunities other content creators do because of that troll element. No, he just said yesterday he had at least five emails that he denied and he deleted that were opportunities to make money. He just said this yesterday. And if you don't trust me, there is a troll clip of it. There is an Aqua Teal clip of it. There is a Forbidden Math clip of it. Duty Streams put out a clip of it. There are clips of it, DSP. You talked about it yesterday. Yesterday you talked about it. That you don't get opportunities because you say no, because you're genuine, right? You would rather beg than get those opportunities. And now the, the, the tables have turned. Now it's something else. Now it's the troll's fault. If that troll element left because, oh, he's not begging anymore. Oh, he's not mentioning us anymore. You know, I would actually be normal. Like right, content right. This is never going to happen. Never in a million years. It's symbiotic relationship that depends, he depends directly on the trolls. His fans give him money because of the trolls, because they get attention and the trolls talk about him because his fans are dented as fuck and they're interesting to talk about. And it's interesting to talk about how many porn stars Derek tweeted today and how many uh, weirdo tweets he made and how many uh, fake accounts only iced coffee made so he can send him gifted subs or he can make him donations and it's interesting to discuss and speculate about trust me I'm in the discord I see how many things people have to say about it I look at, at Kiwi farms and I look at reddit I know how interesting this guy is to talk about and how many things people have to say about him they do and if those people that are, are interested in talking about them genuinely interested in talking about them it is from a negative perspective but they are interested if they are gone then he is nothing there is nothing left i'd be able to have people can you believe this retweet fave and respond to tweets i put out without he's actually admitting to begging what happened Oh yeah, he is, he is. Since people started making fun of him, like actual high-profile people started making fun of his whole brand being begging, he, he embraced it. He embraced it and he admitted to it. Harassed Big ups Chris Dorner. By a mob of idiots. Right, and now we, we track back to, to this, oh, people are, are actually responding to my no. tweets now. I would actually be normal, like a normal content creator. I'd be able to have people, can you believe this? Retweet, fave, and respond to tweets I put out without fear of being harassed online by a mob of idiots. Can you imagine that? That's what normal people can do. I'm not kidding you. Normal content creators get to do that. No, that's I not happening, DSP. You know? That's I'm not. I'm very different that's than not. most content creators because of the level of harassment I get. Right. And people don't, in a lot of cases, don't realize how different I have to be from other content creators, which is a shame.
you know. Yeah, this is a massive cope. If anything, that this is just a coping segment. But in their minds, oh, if we just stopped bothering Philip. Uh, big ups, uh, Chris Dorner, respecter. Yeah, I think Chris Dorner is a negative guy, so I just gave him a shout out. I think he's toxic. I don't know much about him, but yeah. He'd fade into obscurity. No, I'd be healthy. <laughs> I'd be freed from you, the toxic. You would be healthy. Shit, the turd cloud that follows me. The turd the cloud. If I'm gone, if that's gone. No, I it's never going to be gone. Like never going to be gone. The funny thing is that he someday he's going to die. And the last thing he's that's going to be left of him on the Internet is going to be a troll video making fun of the fact that he died. That's that's what is the sad fact about Dark Side Phil. He will always be a joke. He will always be a lol cow because you're not just a, a lol cow status is not something that you just get over and something that you own up to and you just walk away from. It's something that sticks with you because that's what kind of a person you are. That's just how you are. Like other content creators, which I don't get to be because of you. So you have to understand you're the thing holding me back, not me. I've improved. I've done as much as I can to be positive. <laughs> the dude had one week without begging, and now we're getting a victory lap. An actual victory lap. I won. I beat the trolls because I stopped begging for a week. This is what he's getting. And he's he's on this high horse because people have been wailing out. Because yesterday, Ico Gamer sent him $90. And then on the second stream, he didn't have to beg even though it was slow because he got 200 bucks the first stream content for the better and he had a segment about uh, reverse psychology where he was like no you shouldn't be giving me money don't send me contributions and everyone recognizes it everyone recognizes it all i it. need to do is get rid of the hemorrhoids on my ass oh my god yes you should uh you should put on some lotion for that not me i've improved everyone recognizes it you see this as much as i can to what be a delusional piece of shit positive and change my content for the better, and everyone recognizes it. Everyone recognizes it, because I had a week of, of contributions without begging. Well, let's see this slow down, as you don't beg. Let's see this slow down when you don't make segments that people are going to clip out. Let's see how this is going to go naturally, when you can't pay your bills anymore. Let's see how this is going to go, okay? Because now this victory lap is going to get clipped out, and it's going to make him look much worse when he starts starts begging again in a week or two because we all know that this is the long game this is the long con it's not about what he's gonna do today what he's gonna do next next week that's why we stick around because we know it's a long-term investment paying attention to dsp because he might have 10 streams that are trash and we get segments like this and one stream is going to be a massive disaster that everyone's going to make fun of. And somebody like Critical is going to look at, and then we're going to get a new saga spawn from this. All I need to do is get rid of the hemorrhoids on my ass. And, and then we get quotes like this, so, which is just song worthy. So, this is going in the scat song. That song is going to be super toxic. Whenever you're ready to go, please by all means go. Let's do a challenge. Leave me alone for a year. Oh, and he's doing this again. Leave me alone for a year. That's never going to happen, DSP. You're still going to be a lol cow tomorrow. Watch how things get better around here. Watch how things get better. Me. It's I almost like the trolls don't want you to get better. It's not like wing trolls that pretend, oh, yeah, we troll you because we want you to lose weight and get a job. That's not how it is. We don't want you to fucking get better. We want more of this. More of this. Every day more. Because it's fun. It's very fun. And we're very toxic. Hint, hint. I'm done being toxic. I'm done being toxic. Be toxic. I don't want to be talking about negativity. I I'm done being toxic. I'm talking about money. He's been toxic I for most of his life. I just want to be me and chill and have a good time with my audience. And that will be successful if you leave me the fuck alone. But isn't it funny that every time that I get a chance at some kind of improvement or redemption or something going better, they interject themselves to try to fuck my life over again and again and again, right? <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if we leave him alone for a year, we know what's going to happen. We know exactly what's going to happen. There's no trolls. There's no clips. DSP fades. He fades away. He is gone. But he can't actually fade because when he starts fading, he won't, won't be able to pay his bills. Then he will start guilt tripping again. Somebody's going to find this funny. He's going to clip this out, and the cycle is going to start all over again. Even if the channels that exist right now stop talking about him, somebody else will come up and will be like, hey, this guy is a fucking loser. Look at the way he begs. 
and then we go over and over again. The cycle will never end. It never will because of the choices he has made to put himself in this place, the level one place. I mean it too. He means I it. Leave them out there. I outright am challenging you. He is challenging us. Be alone for one year starting today. Uh, go fuck yourself in your hemorrhoid infested ass. This is my response. This is my personal response, obviously. Everybody else can have a, a different response. Maybe Tevin is going to delete his channel because he got challenged. I am fucking challenging you. Go fuck yourself, DSP. You're a fucking joke. Go fuck yourself. Starting today. Dumbass. 9, 2022. <laughs> don't restream me. Don't restream me. We we already failed. We already failed. I should end this stream right now. Don't steal my content. Well, that failed because I'm stealing his content right now, and I intend on doing so. Don't make edited, li slanderous, lying content. Well, that's that already failed because the duty probably put out a clip of this already because we're like 40 minutes in the past. 31 minutes in the past. So, yes, there is a clip of it already. Let's actually do a challenge. Let's open... Uh, Let's open YouTube and see who has already clipped this. Let's see who was the fastest. Is it Forbidden Math, Aqua Teal? Is it Duty? Let's see who did it the first. Let's go on a subscription mode. Let's see who else. We got a bunch of lives. We got three hours ago, four hours ago. So it's not Forbidden Math. It's not Aqua Teal. Let's look up Duty Streams. Maybe he has a clip of it already. And there we go. Duty is running a DSP inspired contest. Okay, so it's not this. Uh, trashing Mis Mr. Beast. This was uh, something else. And this is some other stuff. So nobody else has done this yet. Nobody failed the challenge. I guess they took the challenge. I guess they accepted it. Don't do any of it. Leave me alone for one <laughs> Leave year. me alone. Come back on November 9, 2023. And I guarantee you. Things would be so much better around here without you. Oh, yes. You're the toxic element. You're the toxic I element. My stuff. I like <laughs> we have a great time together. <laughs> this is so fucking good, man. Because he's like, addressing us as a member of his community. And we're so much better than his fucking community, DSP. You're like actually like talking up to people right now. But they won't do that. They I won't do that. Them. Remember, years ago, I challenged Tevin and stuff to do it. Yeah, why would they fucking take your challenge? You're an actual fucking joke, DSP. I challenge you to stop spending money on D on WWE and get your life together so you don't have to ask for fucking contributions every day. Never do it. I challenge you this. What about that? Because this is how they how they make their living. This is how they fucking... This is how we make our living. Yeah, Allegedly. ...off with any kind of attention on the internet because of me. Right. So. Because uh, th this implies everyone wants attention on the internet. I do this exactly explicitly for attention on the internet because it's so valuable. People knowing who you are on the internet and associating it with DSP is super prestigious. Anyway, uh, let's continue. Let's continue, by the way. We got a fantastic segment. As, uh, well, first of all, Rotom Electric became a channel member. Thank you, Rotom. I appreciate that. I'm going to start... Has he even started playing the fucking game yet? Oh yeah, he is. He's right about the start. What's up with the poll? I need to check the poll. Probably House of Ashes. All right. Did I close the poll already? And probably Man of Medan, and then probably the Quarry. Oh yeah, he's talking about super massive games, the the walk-in simulator type stuff. It just wasn't, um, you know, uh. There you go. That's so, so, so we yearny, Andre and John R, who all received the gifted membership. And then shout out to Battle Duck, who gifted five memberships to the channel. So, that, let's update that leaderboard. All right. The year awards this year. So, will God of War win the game of the year? Let's find out. Most probably. Most probably. Because it's more accessible than Elden Ring. Because literally anybody can play Very that game. Very doubtful very doubtful well i guess you guys voted yes so i'm gonna close the poll now and we're gonna watch some of god of war can't promise it's gonna be a lot it's probably gonna be very little because it's choppy as fuck anyways disappointing because i like god of war 2018 last good ladies and gentlemen thanks for for watching the podcast oh and it's re it's done it's finished and we get the jump scare it, it wouldn't work for a second I was yeah no, here's what I wanted to bring up. 
Was it 51%? Well, that's how much you got. One of you my... got plenty of time. You got the, the whole pre-stream plus me talking over it. PS5 controller is breaking. Oh, that was enough. The thumbstick is deceiving. Oh, the, the, the PS5 controller is breaking. Can, can send him another one. Just like my PS4 launch controller did eight some years ago. So this controller is perfectly fine. To swap to that one with the other one, that thumbstick. Okay, and he's gone swapping controllers. Fantastic content. If we're gone for a year, this is going to be the content you're going to get. Nobody's even going to complain about it. They're just going to sit there and wait like good little piggies. No one is even going to point out how boring this is and how meaningless this is. I mean meaningful. This is very meaningful. I need to go to the bathroom, by the way, but I don't want to be the other guy who is also gone. So I'm going to skip through... Him actually coming back to his place of business. Wednesday means, right? What? Where are you going now? We warm up in here. <clears throat> All right. All right. You guys ready for this? Let's do this. I'm ready. I am excited. I hope you guys are too. Let's begin. Oh, it is time, everyone. Phil here. With a game that I was incredibly highly anticipated. Likely my maybe most anticipated game of 2022. I'd probably say Elden Ring as well as Callisto Protocol were also ginormously hyped games for me this year. But God of War, the reboot from 2018, was my favorite game of that year. It took what I felt was already a great gaming franchise and just took it to the next level. Not only... <clears throat> taking that amazing gameplay that had always been a part of the staple of God of War, but putting it into a modern setting with a sun and a, a whole parental storyline, um, taking it from really the plot of Ragnarok B. Oh my god, <laughs> this dude, man, this dude. Why are we sitting on the menu? You're supposed to be playing the game. He hasn't even started it. What a fucking bum. Tell me how this, this type of content will progress in a year. If there's no trolls, tell me how. How does this get to exist? Him sitting there just rambling. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be a long one. That's why we're going to talk a bunch before we even open up the game and calibrate the image. Okay, let's skip through this. Let's skip through the actual, like, when he starts to get... Uh, okay, I think we're getting the YouTube mode now. All right. All right. And since we have hit our hat goal already. Oh, and the fucking hat goal. So now we're going to be, which hat is God of War best? Okay. He's going to go get it. And it's the Viking hat. Of course it is because it's God of War. Hello. I think that makes sense. Today, 100 likes. 100 likes. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, a haiku. Let's hear the haiku. Lord. Haiku. He says, Ragnarok has come. The frozen land of Midgard, snow falls everywhere. Big ups. There you go. It's fantastic. Celebratory bubble blow. Good lord. And wheelchair segment. There you go. Fantastic. Not a war. No. We're going to go for what was the default experience balance. That is what it's intended. He seems pretty upset. Right? in the bag he ran out of chewing tobacco all right so this is the game if you're playing this game then leave because it's gonna be choppy as fuck because my stream is choppy as fuck right now at this at this very time and space it's choppy as fuck and also spoilers and also dsp is playing this game that you're probably gonna like so you should probably leave I'm going to let it play for like I don't know just to see the the initial clown mode and if it's too boring then I'm gonna leave as well so that's gonna be it let's get to see what's gonna happen with kratos we never found out in the first game is who exactly his wife was we know that she was actually a giant you find out at the end of the first game but you don't actually know who she was in the lore of norse gods and stuff like who was kratos's wife you don't know and we'll find out in this one Oh, look at that. A nice stick. What's he going to do? I'm going to roast some uh, marshmallows. Yes, he's, look, he's going to do it. Now it looks like he's whittling. What's he going to do? Make uh, some arrows? Oh, now we get the embellished commentary. Oh, such great commentary. 
What is he gonna do? Roast the barge bellows? So barge bellows? He's fletching. No, he's not. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, look who it is. Oh, my God. I had no idea Trace Hungry? was going to be in the sequel. He's going to sound different, isn't he? He's going to be older now. Older voice actor. It looks exactly the same, though. Yep, he's making him arrows. Where'd the mistletoe go? Get the mistletoe. That shit's too good, man. What's next? Oh. Yeah, he does kind of sound older, though. Like, he's going through puberty. Like, the, the voice is mutating and stuff. That's right, remember? They had said at the end of the original God of War 2018 that the Fimble Winter had begun, meaning it was going to herald in the beginning of Ragnarok. <clears throat> That's good. It's the same voice actor for Atreus, only older now. It sounds more... Uh, you know, more mature. How, how long has passed? A year or two since the first game? Because <clears throat> Atreus certainly has grown. So now he's going to have his axe, and he's going to have the Blades of Chaos right from the get-go. I wonder if we'll get a third weapon in this one. Dude, this is trash. I regret putting up this pole. There was no point in po putting up this pole. This is terrible. Kratos, I believe his voice actor is Christopher Judge, and he also does the vocap as well. Yes, shut up. It's a fucking cutscene, dumbass. Just let the cutscene play out. Four years, is that correct? It's been four years. Oh since my fucking man. god. Nine. Oh my four god. <laughs> no. Is that the key? Is that the gate key? Oh my god, god. shut the fuck up. He still has it on his hip. Shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up. Shut, shut up. Shut up. Every fucking 10 seconds. Oh, well, this is this. Wow, is this this? Wow, it's from the first game. Yes, it's a fucking sequel. Shut up. Jesus Christ. This is going to be sweet in 60 frames. Remember, it only ran... Oh, my fucking God. ...on PS4. <laughs> this is going to look really... It's he doing this shit on purpose. Is this on purpose? Nice to 60 frames on the PS5. <laughs> I saw my dude. capture setup can handle it. This dude is so trash. This is the same shit as Elden Ring. The same shit as Elden Ring. He can't shut up. He can't shut up. Every single trick in the DSP book has been busted out. I just can't wait for him to start singing already. He's about to start singing any time now. No. Oh, la, 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 la. Dashing through the snow. There we go. You will fucking slay. <laughs> all the fields we go. Murdering all the way. <laughs> immediately. Coming immediately. Dude, no way. No way! Face, I know you're a team, but don't give your dad no sense. No fucking way! This dude is so predictable! He is so predictable, it's every time is the same shit! Oh! La 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 la! We are God of War, and it's the God of War. We have Atreus, and we are going slaying with the wolves. I'm not giving up on No! No. I wasn't paying attention to who they were talking to. I was and he, he wasn't even paying attention. Dude. Dude. Close the tab right now. This is now an endurance run. I'm making this a challenge. Let's see how drunk I can get and how many, how many cigarettes I can smoke. I still have a pack left. And today I'm, I'm going to go to work, but, but fuck that. I'm going to stay up late to just see how terrible this is going to be. La 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 la. Because he was singing over it, and he didn't get what they were talking about. Falcon <laughs> Screech! Yes. Oh no, DSP! Is it hurt? Haptic feedback. It is her. Oh shit, Freya already? Is not far. Freya's already here trying to kill them? Falcon. Yes! Oh my god, that was fast! <laughs> Holy shit, she wasn't fucking around! She wasn't fucking around about getting revenge. Oh, 
We have a health bar already. He never does. Stay alert. <laughs> Whoa, jump over. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, circle. <laughs> Haptic feedback's pretty cool. The controls are vibrating pretty well. Why? Why DSP? Why? Killed him right at the beginning of the game, right? Of course. Defend! Defend! Defend, I said, for God's sakes. What's that glowing thing on her, her necklace? She didn't have that in the game, did she? I don't think she had a glowing necklace. <laughs> Oh god damn. Oh no! Wait, we're not your enemy! So damn! Oh my god! That's one way to start the game. Please don't make me do this! All right, now you're gonna kill her, right? She's right there, murder her, so she won't come after you again. What the fuck, Jesus? You stupid ass. It's your own fucking fault. You're the one who fucked everything up in the first game. It's her fault. She's the one who made Balder have no no feeling, beat him, go mad, and then she blames Kratos. We're through for safe. We made it. How long am I gonna be on? I don't really know. Probably like 20 minutes, if I can even last 20 minutes. Yeah, there are wolves, Vecchi, Specky, and Zvana. Because this is just like. So as a recap, I don't, know. I don't remember. Oh, and now we get a recap. The game is that Freya was the wife of Odin, and they had a kid named Balder, and she wanted to protect Balder from all harm. No, I'm not so watching it, it, until I, I pass out. I'm not gonna do that. No feeling at all. So because he had no feeling, it drove him insane. He oh, yo, nuts. he paused the and game for this. Thing. He paused then, for this. You know, by the end of the first game. <laughs> he paused the fucking game for this in the middle of a cutscene. In the middle of the opening cutscene of the game. A high stakes, high dynamic fucking action scene. He paused it to recap. You couldn't do this in the past like two hours? DSB. Her, because he's so pissed that he's living this this endless torture, <laughs> and Kratos kills him. La 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 la. Ha 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 ha. By complete accident, they didn't even know it. They just figured it out by complete chance. Yo. And they hit him with the mistletoe, so the defensive spell. Well, you guys, it's perfectly okay if you don't show up to the first stream because you're gonna be playing the game. Yeah, don't show up at all. Don't show up at all. This is garbage. Imagine fucking watching this ruined or <laughs> when you're interested at the game. And as he's about to kill Freya, his own mother, Kratos kills him. But then she basically swore at that point, oh, I will never forgive you. I will hunt you down to the ends of the earth to murder you or, or whatever for revenge. And he's like, I saved you, you stupid idiot. So basically she's an idiot. I mean, that's it. She's just a moron. There's nothing else to even say. She's just... So overcome with rage that her son is dead, even though she's the one. There's nothing more I could say, and the game is still paused, and he's still talking. Set him up to become mad and created the situation. She should be mad at herself, not at fucking Kratos. <clears throat> anyway, Alex from Phoenix did a super chat. <laughs> you only realized it when you sang Jingle Bell, the wolf bark and rhythm. What? <laughs> We're talking about this. We're reading a super chat about somebody fucking him singing dude no they did i'm gonna have to watch that back I this game is good this playthrough is gonna be like 300 hours long then he's gonna accuse people of lying about how long the game is because he paused in the opening cutscene to pig explain and then read super chats yeah. <laughs> and type them out i'm gonna have to watch that back maybe oh my god and he needs to type out every super chat that comes in because it's streamlined. PlayStation 5 controller. Oh, God. Phone in it. Maybe they heard me singing. They wanted to chime in. Who knows? 
All right, let's continue. I did not wish you to. Told you, Christopher Judge. Hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. He told us who the main voice actor yes, is, is, even though everybody knew stupid. who he is, because he got an actual award for being the main voice actor. Idiot. I told you he was him. Danielle Bazuti is Freya. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimblewinter. Never stopped snowing after that day. You think it's ever gonna get better? Someday. Yeah, but admittedly, any 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 winter named after a thimble doesn't strong. sound so bad. Dude, shut up. Thimble winter. Shut up. They're talking. Thing. Shut up. Sewing. Shut up. Wow, it's really de deadly. Oh my god. All right. And this is him in the first episode of the playthrough. He needs to like actually pitch himself as a good let's player. That's that's what he's doing right now. You're gonna feel so different. Well, he's doing the opposite of what you're supposed to do, as in just keep quiet and watch the opening cutscene. In 60 frames, it seriously is. It's Whoa, it's so different. Game. And for you, it's going to be much different watching it all choppy on my stream, because my stream is choppy as fuck. But this is kind of... This is the, the cool thing about it. People show up and say that it's meaningful. It's like, Meerkat, your fucking stream is so cool because it's like choppy all the time. The combat's probably going to feel way better. It's probably going to feel the same. I got it. Bear McCreary, who did all the music for the first game, returns to do the soundtrack for this one. <laughs> and interestingly enough, he's going to play a character in the game, which is kind of neat. Whoa, this is great, DSP. Thanks. He knows so much about this game. Cool. He's like an actual professional. They have some kind of a protective aura to stop her from attacking their home, is what they say. That's cute. They have two pet wolves. Damn, they're giant wolves. Dude, it's the audio description. Who turned on the audio description? Turn it off. This is the accessibility settings when you, you get a fat gouty guy with a dumb hat explaining to you literally everything that's happening on screen. You can turn that off in the settings. He still hasn't figured it out yet. I like how he just got stabbed in the chest by Freya. He's already perfectly fine. He doesn't even have a wound anymore. He's like fucking Wolverine with his healing factor and shit. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we are. First view of Kratos. Kratos. The correct pronunciation is Kratos. I don't know if you guys knew that. Okay, that's com completely lie. But this is our first 60 frames Kratos. God of War 2018 was only 30. Right? There they are. Our wolves chilling. I guess this is where we go. Bones of things they've eaten, huh? No, we don't go there. I think eventually you go there. Looks like you could have crawled through there. But not yet. Hello, Juan David. How are you? Let's head up. So there was some haptic feedback when oh, we were man. on the sled, which yeah, was kind of nice. Atreus. You okay, boy? Fenrir? Wait a minute. Fenrir? Fenrir is the world-eating fucking wolf. That's the one that, that dooms everything. <laughs> In Norse mythology, if you guys don't know that. If you guys don't know that, I'm a, I'm a professional Norse mythology expert. There's a wolf that grows endlessly large, and I think it eats the sun or something crazy like that. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, <laughs> they just called their wolf like that. Uh, big ups, good hustler for the membership, dude. Big ups for being a member to this, whatever this is, the audio description stream that's choppy as fuck. <laughs> uh, Norse style mythology. You won't eat. I guess if you guys didn't know, this is from like the Scandinavian countries of like Finland or whatever, or like Norway. Something for a snack. <laughs> Atreus, the time draws near. I told you we're not eating him. For what? He's still eating. He wants to live. They're gonna put him out of his misery. He's dying. Yep. You gotta put down your pet. 
Jade loves it so far. Glad to hear that, Jade. Oh yeah, Jade, of course, Jade loved this so far. This is amazing so far. I tell you, the game looks great on my TV, man. Colors are outstanding. I hope you guys are just looking at <laughs> I thought you got I hope you guys are liking it as well on my TV. Stream. You should point the camera at the TV so we can see how cool the colors are. Awesome colors. La 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 la. Ha 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 ha. When did the trays get terrible arm <laughs> tattoos, by the way? You can let go now. You have to let go. Aww. Poor doggy. Where'd they meet all these giant wolves? Just out in the wild? In 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 Norse uh mythology, Loki Loki's son is supposed to be this wolf, but obviously it's not in this game. It's just his pet. <clears throat> Yeah, big ups for the for the gift and membership, Scott Hustler. Big ups for the five gift bomb. Sofna. Sofna. Oh. What's going on with his mouth? What the hell? You earned experience points for his death. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, just, thanks. Just shut up. Who let the souls out? I'm sorry, inappropriate. <laughs> oh, my God, DSP. Dude. I shouldn't be saying that. That was God of War 3. Dude. Oh, come on. There's not enough alcohol in the world to make this watchable. This is just like trash. Anytime there's been like an emotional scene, he has to say something really fucking stupid to make it just stupid. No. It's the middle of the night. Night does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Training is all we ever do, ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. His commentary hasn't been this bad since Horizon Zero so Dawn. From the North Torture. Guys, eh? I think his uh, his Elden Ring was also really bad, especially the first episode. It was it, terrible. Time is running out. There were just much less uh, cutscenes for him to ruin. War is coming. Big ups, J Dog. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. <clears throat> My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard... Madara, there's always going to be an echo. How do you not know this yet? <laughs> How do you not know that? Oh my I god. Use neck phones. Bro, neck phones. bro, bro. 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 You will pick that up on the mic. My boy. A, a scene with music playing or with the combat, you'll never hear it. But if you're just hearing straight up dialogue in a cutscene, you're always going to hear an echo. Dude, like, legitimately. Legitimately, he ruined this whole opening. This opening is ruined. This playthrough is now trash from the get go. It's been like this for about. Every time. single moment that there has been where something has been happening, he paused mid-dialogue to talk about Echo and neck phones. This dude is not fucking legit. And he just came off of a, an entire segment telling people that if they left him alone and they didn't troll him, he would prosper. And this channel would be amazing. Give me a fucking break. Here now, there's nothing I can really do about that. Nothing I can I, do. The only thing I can do is lower the volume so much in my neck phones that I can barely hear and then you won't hear an echo but there's just he wouldn't hear the true surround sound my content has to have that or else I'm gonna get ear infections you know sucks <laughs> I need to do this or I'm gonna get ear infections this is the excuse uh, <laughs> the fucking toilet seat anyway I had a three dollar tip yo you can't be serious at you this point Kratos likes Kratom I don't even know what Kratom is you what can't is actually be serious I don't know what that even means okay <clears throat> so you can't be serious 
Now we gotta type it out. No, the only thing that I could think of, the reason there would be a little bit of e extra echo is because now I'm using a different webcam for about a month and maybe this webcam doesn't have as much delay as my old one did. My old one had a significant amount of delay, so I had to purposely delay the audio to sync to the webcam. But to my knowledge, this is syncing with the webcam perfectly, right? Like when I'm talking, my lips sync with what you see on camera. So it must be the same delay as the old one. Um, Dude, are, so are, are, you, are you on fucking drugs? Yeah. I don't know. Let's continue. Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. Well, she's dead. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard to figure that out unless you talk to the dead. Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Could they just go to hell and find her? I just realized something. They were in hell twice. Oh, what? First. Yo. Why didn't they look for the mother there? <laughs> right. He's, I didn't think about that till this. He's video. fucking destroying his own playthrough. This is terrible. This is the worst. Every moment. I seriously didn't think about that till this very moment. Why didn't they just f talk to her? Whatever. <laughs> Look. I have a moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him. So they've just been hiding out in the woods for four years. Because they knew if they went out there and made themselves known, the, the Norse gods would come after them to kill them, right? You should hide in the woods for the rest of your life. I guess like Ted Kaczynski. The question, though, why didn't they just leave this realm f for good and go somewhere else? Obviously, there's other realms. By the way, look who's living with them. Oh, my God. Seriously? Well, I recognize that dour expression anywhere. <laughs> He's living with them? Yeah, A fucking head? Gone. <laughs> I can't believe he's living with them. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, I'm going to say this up front. I really hope in this game they find a way oh to get his body God. back. I don't want him to be a head for the rest of eternity. It'd be ridiculous. Time for sleep. Oh, uh, I got a dollar tip here. Uh, so, here's what someone is saying. Baldur's death was the first presage of Ragnarok. It's now Fimble Winter. It's a three-year-long winter that pre preludes Ragnarok. Unbeknownst to Kratos at the time, he inadvertently began Ragnarok by killing Baldur. And that's from Gamer Guy. Uh, yeah, he, he had actually just said that, right? They were just talking about that. That killing Baldur started the Fimble Winter. And, you know, that's basically the beginning of Ragnarok. So... <clears throat> Although, again, in Norse mythology, it's actually Fenrir that begins Ragnarok fully. I believe it eats the sun or blots out the sun or something crazy like that. I wish somebody right. would eat the sun right now. Dude, so I, we I, could I just added a dollar. End. I came back. What's going on? Where, what happened? <laughs> Fen oh, it's a flashback. Seriously, we get to meet his wife now? Finally? Are you joining me? Yes. We finally meet the wife. After the whole first game, she was dead and you didn't get to hit you or anything about her. Hey, Rock Guitarist, I oh. can't take you out right now. I can just lean in and ban you. If, if that's good enough for you, I can do that. She's a giant. It would hurt me to do that, but if you want me, huh. man, I can pull the trigger. If it's that bad, I can do the lean in. That's all I can do. I will follow. Very well. You definitely tell it's a dream. Look at how it's all misty, right? And the lighting's all weird. It's supposed to be a mystical Fresh kill. remembrance here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Isn't this from the first game? I think I remember this little area from the first I game. I could be wrong, but I swear it looks like the beginning area. Tell me your thoughts. We hunt the predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. 
Your words are misguided. Yeah, I know people are like, she looks normal size to me. Because remember, at the end of the first I game, you saw so. giant, dead, giant bodies in the in the they where you spread her ashes. So how is she don't normal please. size? I don't know if they'll explain it. <clears throat> no, don't. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Scared the wolf away. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said, he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Got yeah, an invisible wall is. here. Can't move. Come on. The problem Can't doesn't move. have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? <laughs> He's walking around like this, ruining the whole cutscene. Now I can move. It's so not immersive. Oh, now that I can move, she goes away. <laughs> she was talking to him and he's just rocking back and forth like it's DSP in real life. <laughs> he's just going left, right, left, right on the X and Y axis. Oh, you can finally move. Because he got to pay back taxes. I'm not going there anymore. Huh, huh. <laughs> oh, we got a prompt. Our first action of the game. Our first real action. Yep, she's just as strong as Kratos, because she's a giant. He just has no sense how to not ruin a cutscene. Just like, shut up, DSP. Yes. This is not about you. This is not about your stupid commentary. People are there to watch the game as it premieres, right? It's the premiere. It's like you're watching a Tarantino movie, and he's there in the theater, and he's premiering the movie, and he keeps talking over it. And he keeps, like, pausing it to tell you about the background of the movie. It's all about gender equality now. You pick it it's up. like here I made Samuel Jackson say the N word because I thought it was funny, but. <laughs> Everyone, yeah. Boy. Oh, she said good boy. Wow. Wow. You're going to let her treat you like that, huh? I see how it is. So, SMR Tad did a super chat. He says, don't let the fact they're called giants fool you or confuse you. The English translation of the Norse word is rough. It's just a race like humans or dwarves. They can't be any size. Then why were there all those insanely huge dead bodies in the land of the giants at the end of God of War 2018? And that's where they spread her ashes, right? Because maybe some of yeah, them I'm were giants. You. Not all yeah. of them are giants. I don't it's know. It's just a misnomer and it could, doesn't mean anything. But then why were there insanely huge giant dead giants, right? That made up like the whole landscape at the end of the first game. That doesn't make sense then. <clears throat> Were they all affected by Rita Repulsa? Make my giants grow! This way. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <clears throat> yes, they were all Goldars. Dude. Wolf. Brave. Brave! Time is running. Ah, the yellow handprints that she left in the first game. So she talked to him from the afterlife. You hear that? Brother? She talked to him from the afterlife. Time is running out. Where's Atreus? Hence my bellowing. He never no. came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. He could not be far. You grabbed him. Now you got Mimir with you. You know, at one point, what would Mimir be like, hey, can I look forward rather than out your butt's perspective? Like, do I really have to hang off your ass? <laughs> can I just turn around for a second? Seriously, that's kind of insulting. Do you think Kratos would never really care about that? The realm between realms? Oh, look. No. Kratos would Stones. probably just tell him to shut up. So those gates that you used to have are destroyed now, apparently. <sighs> of course, you know you're going to get those back. I mean, there's no way you're going to be stuck in here the whole game. Baldur's chasm is too unstable, brother. The lad wouldn't try it. Hey, it's King Jad. Big so ups, King Jad. It Baldur's chasm, if you remember in the first game when you fought Baldur, that's where he got thrown into, right? But he made it out later. I guess we're going this way. This has not been opened. No prints this way either. 
This leads out to the the open world. Well, not the open world, but the the dungeon. Not really the dungeon. That's where you fought your first enemies in the first game, if I remember correctly. So I guess this way. Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. Fire's dwindling now. Where else could he have gone from here? Hello. If only you could pet them. You can't pet the wolves? Come on. They're cute. I want to pet those wolves. Ah. He crawled through here. Of course he did. Press right trigger for heavy attack. Oh, that's right. This is going to have... Ha I just realized it's going to have adaptive triggers for this now. I wonder if that'll ha factor in. Like, if you tap versus hold versus half hold, I wonder if it'll have different attacks now. I've been working on the frozen rock. Nightmares? <laughs> I dream of the past. Almost every night. Ah, the bad old days in Greece? No. It feels like Faye is trying to tell me something. You don't Upper mean to say woods. you're talking to ghosts again, brother. No. But it is something more than memory. How do I climb over? <laughs> Circle. Sir, so... X is roll and dodge. Circle climbs. Yep, just like the first thumb. game. The same yeah, thing. Run his le left thumb stick. Okay, yep. and the control's back. It's literally the Turtle same dude. thing. What's up, Guts? How's everyone doing? Just joining? Welcome. Welcome. You missed the singing segment in the beginning. It was hilarious. It's cold. As an intense cutscene was going on, he was singing it over it. Use your Christmas words. songs. Very nice. Uh oh. And we're not alone. The hell, Eddie's the deer people? Oh, now we're gonna get actual combat. Hey guys, remember this from the first game? Oh shit, you fuck face! Oh god, he flew way back. Remember when I did this for the entire first game and all I did was throw the axe back and forth and I never did anything else? That was great. Yeah, you should keep doing it. Because it was great, right? Stop. Where? Oh shit, where'd you come from? Get over behind me. The axe frozen. What? It comboed and the other guy froze. R3? What's this? Oh, that's the ex execution, right? Jeez, brutal. Execution! Damn, split his face. Three of them now. Oh, I just called the axe back. Oops. Shit. My fault. When he's frozen, you can beat the shit out of him. Oh, come on. I'm very rusty. That's this gameplay is so bad. It's like me playing the game. Because I played the first game and I'm pretty bad at it too. But he's an actual professional. As in doing this for a living. Check if you didn't know, very rusty at this. It's <laughs> very rusty. It's very rusty, as you can see. All right. Well, you were right. The stave is broken. Help back. Explains our trespassers. What happened? So their their protective st uh, symbol is gone. Oh God, blood. A trace probably killed a bunch of dudes. Oh look, a giant bear. A, bear, a big old bear. Mauled. Hello, o, uh, the Obi Kobe. How are you? Wounded. The fight destroyed the tree. We must find Atreus. Aye. Between the savage beasts and marauding raiders, he may have sought shelter. Chat, was it Wings or DSP that said I At can pick up like any game and play on a on a professional level? Was it Wings that said this or DSP? Thank you for joining me for the premiere of God of War Ragnarok. So far, You're so fucking good. welcome, DSP. You're fucking welcome. This is trash. Oh, DSP said this? Damn. I'm liking the game. <laughs> rusty at it, but I'm sure get Damn, it. DSP. Uh, for everyone here live, wow. thank you for your engagement and all of your support. Thank you really for your engagement. Um, Are we blo blowing bubbles at this point? Does this have 100 likes? Uh, Yeah, it did. I don't know I if he did the blow the bubbles because for engagement and we'll bring others to the stream. So if you could like the stream, if you're having a good time, please. Oh yeah, do. please bring other um, people. If you're watching on demand, remember liking the videos, leaving comments. Let me know what you think about the game. How does it look? 
How does PS5 it look? As opposed to PS4, like I played uh, in the first one. What do you think about the 60 frames? I think it looks gorgeous. So it I'm actually gorgeous. really liking the improvements to the graphical uh, capabilities here. And I hope you guys are enjoying as well, okay? Now, I know that many of you may be joining and may not be watching actively. You may watch On Demand later. That's fine. I know a lot of people don't want to be spoiled, but I get the feeling a lot of you are going to be way ahead of me because I'm a variety streamer. I'm not going to be playing this every Yeah, because you fucking you. pause to make you stupid you. fucking jokes all the time and oh, stupid comments, DSP. And I received a tip. A $50 tip? Of course. From one minute man. One minute fucking one jack minute off. Man. For your ongoing support of my stream, it's a man. Go. And go up there over here. I guess we'll see what's over here. Uh this was sure fucking trash. Matters. Break the box. There's nothing there. It didn't matter. Either way, it's exactly the same. There's blood. Ah, what's up with the views, there? too? Oh, wow. 532 more, players, Captain, dude. Five more memberships to the channel. Oh, amazing. Thanks to the people who will likely accept those. We've got Jex Gaming, Sven Ulti, <laughs> no, Sven Atli, Ethan Redfield, Last Terminal Network, and Apollo 360. Dude, Last Terminal Network is an actual troll channel. Memberships. Congratulations to all of you. Last Terminal Network makes troll DSP videos. And thank so congrats for the membership. Now you can troll harder. Ah, support. Trails on the other side of that gap. If you can fear the way. <laughs> Terrible playthrough. Imagine watching this on demand and having this jerk off pause all the time to read tips and in fucking bullshit and sing in the middle of <laughs> an actual cutscene. Yeah, what could have made the lad wonder all? Oh, bro. He accuses me of. This is golden. Hiding from Odin. Eh, only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. A reckoning will come. What is that? That is why Atreus must learn to bull. survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Where are these bugs? Ew. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of otherwise accurate predictions. I do. <laughs> what the, the fuck? Game, remember? <laughs> <laughs> so this then, dude is man. This this playthrough is something else. And I thought the the Elden Ring playthrough was terrible. The first game I thought the Elden Ring God. playthrough was fucking god awful. The first episode. This is like above and beyond. Above and beyond. Right, so there was a giant. <laughs> your deceased wife Faye had made all these paintings. Okay. All prophecies of everything that had happened in the first game. Okay. And there was a weird mural of you dead, and it almost looked like smoke or a snake was coming out of you. But it wasn't clear what it was. So, I guess we're going to find out in this one. All right, my first hack silver. Now, what happened to all the hack silver from the first game that, that I didn't use? That carries over, right? So, I should have like 40, 50 billion hack silver extra. <laughs> yeah, right. I wish. That would be nice. We carried over your stats. another chest turtle dude just did a super chat he says <laughs> is the giant turtle back in the game i guess we'll find out although remember the giant turtle was the friend of freya and freya is not your enemy so maybe you have to fight the turtle maybe the turtle will be a boss That's that would actually be interesting blood, brother. we must find him more hack silver stop hacking the silver where was the chest <laughs> we'd seen a chest From a different direction. There. So we have to find a way over there. Is this it here? Aha. Uh -huh. Hack that silver. American MAGA Undertaker says, I don't think the mother's soul wasn't in hell since her dying wish wasn't fulfilled. But that, would that mean she should be in hell? I'm so confused. I don't know how hell works in Norse uh, uh. <laughs> You're going to find out when you get there. Uh, fuck this. I'm out. I'm out. Fuck this. It's choppy as hell. DSP is terrible. And I'm just tired. Fuck this. I'm done. Let's watch. Um, what are we going to watch? I don't know. I don't even know what we're going to watch. Nothing, I guess. I guess nothing. It's going to be a silent ending. A minute of silence. A moment of silence. Uh, I don't know. 
Fuck this. This is trash. This is trash. Thanks, everybody, for swinging by for this. At least for the pre-stream. Because the beginning of the playthrough was terrible. And, yeah, that's it. If, if you care about it, you can go and watch DSP On Demand. And see all the pausing and reading super chats and contributions. And all the other nonsense. Let's play one of my songs and end this. And I'm going to go to bed. Because I got to wake up for fucking work tomorrow. So let's go on uh, SoundClown. SoundClown.com. And uh, play a song. And that's it. I'm not going to play the cat song. Because that shit is just too much. That's going to kill everybody who's still tuned into this stream. It's going to finish them off. And it's going to make them want to paint the ceiling. And you don't want to paint the ceiling. Not today. So vest is best. That's what we get. Or maybe this. No, you don't know about this. You're not supposed to know about this. You're supposed to know about something else. Okay, vest is best. Positivity, it's a symbol. Thanks, everybody, again. Oh, tomorrow it's his day off. So we get to take a break from the positivity. Because it's, it's been way too positive. All right? So big ups, everybody. It's time for something new. Which vest is best? Which which vest is e-bagger best? Okay. Vest is best. Vest. Yeah, yeah, young cat. Got that 150 on my chest. Bitches all around me, and they let me touch their breasts. Got that saggy man boobs flowing. But that member's count keeps growing, so I got to put it on a vest. Vest. Vest is best. 150. Okay. 150 for the best. Okay. 150, and I put it on my chest. Okay. The vest goal has been pretty hard to hit recently. And that's tough when, you know, things are tight. I get, I get it. Things have been tight for a lot of people, you know. Another thing I don't want people to freak out about is the members. The members right now are super low. Yes, I'm feeling fucking blessed. Begging for hats and glasses and a vest. Coping and coping that the pay pigs will impress. Everybody's begging me. Stop spending on a WWE. Which vest, okay, is best. Which vest is e bigger best. 150 vest. 150 vest. Which vest for the best is best? Which 150 and I put it on my chest? Okay. Vest is best. Vest is best. Okay. Vest is best. 150 vest is best. Vest is best. Vest is best. Best is best. All right, I said I'm not going to play this, but I'm going to play this anyways, because why not? Nobody is surely watching now anyways, right? The camera is off. This one goes out to the one and only, the big cat, the fat cat. Big ups. I first saw you in Burger King. You took two seats, cause that ass is way too big. Had a boyfriend, I realized. But you told him lies with your raccoon eyes. The DoorDash is here Wipe away your tears Got you extra fries And they taste just right Have no fear There's no trolls here Tevin made you cry With those raccoon eyes Raccoon eyes Raccoon eyes 
Kevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes. Here's the thing. All right, let's have a karaoke segment. Let's have a karaoke segment. And it's going to be the vibed mix because it's easier to do. Being off on, on camera. camera. Now, luckily, nothing was luckily, shown. nothing was shown. Absolutely nothing exposed to the internet. Nothing. It was just me doing my own things. I went viral for it. I just want the bus. Oh, man. The bus. Give me the monster, boss. Wow, it's big. Oh, my God. Look, look how, how big he is. Oh, my God. Wow. That thing is a monster. I just want the bus. Oh, man. Give me the monster. Wow, it's big. Bus. I just want the... I just want the... What do you want? I just want the... Wow. Give me the monster. I just want... I just want the vibrant and robust. I just want the bus. Oh man. I just want the bus. Give me the monster. I just want the Wow, it's big. Where did the load go? I just want the bus. Oh man, bus. Give me the monster. Wow, it's big. Bus, 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 bus. I just want the bus. I just want the. I just want the bus. 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 Oh! Okay, the next song I know better. This is how life is. Life is not like this. Life is not like this. Life is like this. Life is like this. But I'm Dark Side Phil. I'm Dark Side Phil. I am not any other content creator or streamer. I'm, I'm Dark, Dark Side, Side Phil. Phil. I'm, I'm the, the guy. guy. I'm the guy. The e baking scammer. Uh, I'm the guy. Mark my fucking words, stupid anime bitch. I'm the guy. 14 years of content grammar, WWE champion. Take a look around. I'm the guy. Life is tough right now. I guess I'm proud to be a loser. Down here at level one. You know what? It's nice at level one. I'm the guy. E baking scammer. Please kid me. I'm the guy. Mark my fucking words. Stupid anime bitch. I'm the guy. I'm the guy. E baking scammer. Um I'm the guy. My, oh, 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 I got it bad. Anime bitch. I'm the guy. I'm the guy. And now we get the drip. And then I'm gonna do the vest. Because I actually perform on the vest. I actually have a verse on there. It's going. It's like a faucet that's dripping. I can't turn it off. I can't make it stop. Then I'm and I'm like, like damn. damn. My, my post nasal drip is going. My sinuses are inflamed. <clears throat> My throat is gunked up. What is going on here?
damn snort 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 coke and drip snort snort i got the drip going snort 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 coke and drip snort snort i got the drip going damn i got the drip going i got the tips going clear your throat blow your nose damn clear your throat please tip me Damn. Voice nasal drip is a constant. It keeps going. It's like a faucet that's dripping. Damn. Snort. 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 Poke and drip. Snort. Snort. I got the drip going. Snort. 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 Poke and drip. Snort. Snort. I got the drip going. 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 Can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm. All right, now we do the vest. The vest is a symbol of that positivity. It's a symbol that together we can have fun as long as we stay positive. We can overcome. <laughs> this is by far probably the stupidest segment I've ever done. Is the the karaoke shit? <laughs> anything together. I truly believe. At this point, all right, let's go. Like, let's go. Let's go. What comes my way that we can work together to overcome? All right. That being said. That being said. It's time for something new. This which best is best. Which which best is e beggar best. Okay. Which best is best. Which best is best. Young cat got that 150 on my chest. Bitches all around me and they let me touch their breasts. Got that saggy man boobs flowing. But that members count steeps growing. So I gotta put it on a vest. Is best. Which vest is best. 150. Okay. 150 on my chest. Okay. 150 and I put it on my chest. Okay. The best goal has been pretty hard to hit recently. And that's tough when, you know, things are tight. I get, I get it. Things have been tight for a lot of people, you know. Another thing I don't want people to freak out about is the members. The members right now are super low. Yes, I'm feeling fucking blessed. Begging for hats and glasses and a vest. Hoping and coping that the pay pigs will impress. Everybody's begging me. Stop spending on a WWE. Best. Okay. Is best. Which best is e best. One fifty best. One fifty for the best. Which best? One fifty is best. Which one fifty? And I put it on my chest. Okay. And I put it on my chest. Is best. For that chest on that vest. Is best. Okay. Best is best. <laughs> one fifty best. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna end the stream now or this is gonna get a lot stupider. I don't know how how I can make this stupider But somehow it can be and I don't want to make it stupider. So this is the end of the stream. Go away. Go away Don't push this any further. All right. <laughs> See you around. Bye